Set up my VR. Thank you, Cliff Bar. Thank you, Space Jays, for the Prime. Yo, hi everybody. Uh, it didn't get cozy. I'm gonna go set up. Gaming. Survivor Cithrio. So you learn how to fight, how to starve, how to survive When the others blocked your light You learn to see beyond the stars The curse of small desires Easily acquired It's time to set your gasoline heart on fire Kill your demons, kill them your hair changed your name left to note as you escaped to thine own self be true but there was no gold in those hills no platinum in those pretty pills just werewolves tossing dollar bills in the wine dark sea of malibu the curse of small desires easily acquired it's time to set your gasoline heart Chat. Hello chat. i I'm I'm coming to you. I'm on my VR mic now. I'm coming to you live from the metaverse. Uh this is a song by a band called The Midnight. It's called Good and Red. Hi streamer Krongo smile. Hi. Hi chat member. Who is that? Saucy C's, thank you for the prime nine months. Not the metaverse. Listen, metaverse has existed for a long time, and its name is VR Chat. Hello, 
I'm gonna turn off that stream elements command. Hasn't there been a VRRP called Metaverse for like years? Yeah, it's almost like the term existed before it was co-opted by corporations. There's a cyberpunk future that we're living in. <laughs> Original Metaverse was Second Life. I, unironically true. Like, that's, that's, without an ounce of irony, that's literally true. Okay, get that, get chat, so I can see chat, I can see you. Okay, bin lock, good, good, good. Welcome to the Sci-Fi stream where you see the uh, the four session setup of Neon Divide. Because I don't have a good way to separate my audio, so you're gonna have to hear me setting stuff up. Robot quest. <laughs> I just realized it's funny that one of the bots that hosts, hosts the instances of the map is called Robot. Anyway, um, I'm gonna put on some more synth wave to get us into the to, into the mood. Synth wave? Sorry, I'm new to sci fi chat. Synth! Synth! Synthetic, like music from a synthesizer. <laughs> it's a genre of music, it's called synth wave. <laughs> My favorite genre of music, Simpwave. Sorry for the voice overload chat. Hi everybody, we are... <laughs> Hello everybody, we are 10 minutes away from session start. Uh, if you are ready to go, please get into your character's starting position. I'll be hitting the button at the top of the hour. I think they're working on it. 
Okay. Yeah, they're working on it. I think Simon Simon's been having computer problems. I'm gonna come visit later too. Okay. Hi, extras. Hello. So, um, have you guys been given things to do yet, or do you need this? Nope. Okay. I already have anything to do yet. All right. Just listening, who, listening and waiting. Uh, all right. Who were my reunion grunts from last time? Yo. All right. Uh, yeah. You guys are gonna be doing that. Uh, same deal. Uh, but Good. you could we use the normal. Yeah, you could use the normal slumber model if you want. Oh yeah. Um, can we could I ask if, if Sailor want? joins as the third person since we are missing our third? Um, yeah, sure. Although I might pull one of you because I can wait have... too. Like I can join in later if you need me. Uh, like, I I don't think I'll need you at now. the start. I don't think I'll need you at the start, okay. but I might need you later. Okay. So you can roll with them for now. Uh, Thank you. So let's see. Um, as far as you guys go, um, let's have you guys be. So I think these yeah. these uh, look good. One thing is I would change the symbol on your back with the oh, yeah, yeah. radio member to be the uh, wyverns ones. So the uh, it's the one with the Ooh. sword. Wyverns Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Oh fuck! Wait. Oh, uh, you want to have the can't check. Is it the yeah, I'll check for you. I'll check for you. Okay. Oh, you okay? So, Scroll uh, back. Oh. <laughs> Back? Uh, back more. Which one's the wyvern's one? It's a flaming sword. Like... Uh, Got it. Give me a sec. Yeah. What percentage is it? Select. Uh, it's, it's 18. It's 18 percent. 15 percent, really. All right. Well, 15 to yep, 20 percent is what it's gonna be. Yeah. Right. Oh, uh, that, oh. Yeah. that it? Okay, okay. All right. You got it. And then you guys, uh, cool. you can change your clothing colors to either red or black. And uh, from the prop guns, uh, grab a couple SMGs. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think that's pretty close which, to my boy. What are these guys doing? Uh, faction SMGs. Uh, row SMGs. I'm just going to make them uh, basic wyverns, guys. Come and meet up with Leroy. I'll just give him a few gotcha. extra bodies. Cassidy. 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 All right, I'm Sage. And then uh, yeah, these three are going to be our reunion room set for the start. And you Roy. can pull them as you need. Thanks. All right, we usually have them. They they're like persisting characters. So are these the same people it was the last time? Yes. Uh, yes, except Shinfo. for uh, this one is new. All right, Shinfo. Yeah, you're there. Just slaying. You're there. All right. Fair Shinfo enough. just slaying and uh, Super Sailor. Yeah, the third one, one. That's fine. My left. My left. So no armor, I'm guessing. Kimchi. Uh, not unless you were given armor. No. Okay, I might be getting some from the medical bay if he gets the job there. Uh, Understood. We will to, address that. To. Let me know if that happens. And then gotcha. I can, uh, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, press on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, uh, no, it is not. I mean, you want to unlock. Yes. Alright, I'm on. Let me know when you can unlock it. Thank you. Toes. Uh, oh, Tosha. Yeah, alright. Go ahead. Yeah, I know. Uh, you should pick up the rogue gun, the normal. Cool. Not, gun. Gonna, yeah, you know, sorry. <laughs> your normal rogue gun? Oh, it's man, oh, my god, I know. Oh. You can get the revolver, <laughs> just the regular one. Listen, maybe one day someone will craft you a really fancy well, you gun. Yeah. It was upgraded oh, last session. Yeah. It was upgraded <laughs> mechanically, <laughs> not physically. It was upgraded. Yeah, it's mechanic. It's upgraded. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> you got what? Uh, I got oh, it. Like you, you did your thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, let me. Log. I need to close. The other city is not so good. Ah! Ouch! Who shot? Right, let me see your gun, and I can make the sanders. I heard my ear. Let's go. 
shooting people. Guess, guess, guess I'm dead. I guess so. I'll clear your damage in a second. Do we to have guy? to go? Go? I got it, I got it. What the fuck? Okay, I Max is this ammo 6, damage 17, good to go. Thanks, uh. bro. Uh, no, Chad is not allowed to see yet. We're still five minutes from starting. Uh, hey, uh, I'm hearing that the Undercity bot is down. Uh, yeah, Simon said the Undercity bot went down. I don't think it's back up yet. Okay. Uh, I'm just having a few people who are holding out here until it goes up. Yeah, I believe it's... It, it's on now. It's just loading into the instance, so... Okay. It should be just a couple minutes. All right, I'll let him know. Undercity bot is back up if you were waiting for that. The Undercity bot is up now if you... Turn my nameplates off. We got an extra, another extra that came in late. Should we add him to the to the little um, wyvern gang? Yeah, add him to the wyvern gang. Uh, also, reminder for you guys, uh, you needed it. The wyvern's HQ is uh, in the alleyway behind the noodle shop. Hey, Church. Well, how's this look on my nice back? Coat. Where's Leroy? Where did Leroy go? Leroy! I got, I see you adjusting settings. I'm going to... Yeah, because my stream has already started. What's up? There you go. I was just letting you know. I'm giving you some extras today. They're going to be basic slumber models with the wyverns thing on their back. They're basically wyverns grunts. Use them however you want. Uh, uh, Let Marceline know that Marceline's Calista. But she's she's the Calista. main leader of the... She's right there behind her. She's right behind her. She's right there. Perfect. Uh, do, 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 do. Actually, I'm going to mute my stream. Give me one second. Uh, oh, uh, Yo. Hey, one, one second. So I'm going to be... Uh, <laughs> <sighs> hey, Calista. Got some info for you. Me. Uh, I have a couple extras in the map today who are going to be basic slumber models with wyverns emblems on their uh, back. Those are basically wyverns grunts. Feel free to use them however you want. Like just have control or do general security thing. Like that's all up to you. Just giving you some more bodies. Thank you. Sweet. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Cheesy Toast Man, for the four months. All right. Time to make it pop. Make a mental note that that announcement cuts off before it actually ends. What's the closest teleport to the noodle shop? <laughs> Should be Lower Plaza. I crashed on my way back. I got you. <clears throat> Alright. Hey, chat. Time uh, to make the magic happen. You never see it <laughs> Thank you for those subs. 
It's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. It's time to meet the Muppets on the Muppet Show tonight. Let's go. And interaction. Thank you. A gleaming endowment. Oh. Hey, thanks for the 420, Boris. Thanks. <laughs> was there a message for that? No, it was just unmessage 420. My editor is paying me. <laughs> That's not how this works. Let's move over him in a second, but I'll let him settle in. little DM thing for you if you're set up. If you're still setting up, then no worries. Okay. Just gonna I'm let good. you know. So, one thing we're gonna do to make your sort of character's RP more interesting is there's going to be an actual handoff of your character's data. So which alleyway relative to the noodle shop so, uh, all right. is it? Is it on the right when we're looking at its front or is it off to the left? It's the uh, alleyway behind the... If you go around it and then, like, behind the tea house and then circle around, it's that alleyway. It's, like, the big, like, side street. So Is we come down and we're going near the arena? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, near the arena, right. past there. Um, okay. Really sorry, kimchi. Well, well, sorry, I have sorry, sorry. Do you sorry. want me to see uh, my tablet? Or would yeah, you, like, so it would be your tablet like that essentially you're giving... Uh, a day drop to. So when the 30 minutes remaining uh, marker goes off, uh, a Trident mm -hmm. NPC is going to wait at the Red Garden. That's the area at the top of the lower plaza. You could get up to it a couple different ways. It's on the top of the okay. walkways. Uh, and then you just hand off your data to them, and then that's your job complete. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. All right, other than that, enjoy the session. Yeah, you may need to guide me like towards that last thirty minutes. I don't want to say you might need to remind me, but you may need to guide me because I don't. I haven't really gone up to the Red Garden that much, so I don't know which doors. Yeah. To properly. Well, you would have that communication from Trident, uh, being that that's where the handoff location is. So maybe you go scout it out yeah. as part of your session. You got four hours. All right, that's fine. You got a job? Yeah, her job is to report news for Trident and find stories and pass it off uh, up the corporate ladder. Now, I need to do roll. Let me find this. Get character. In. Just to remind myself of its skill levels. I know he has decking to check what level. Decking three. Decking three technician one. I love Yo. Yo is a great emote. Yeah, follower emotes not working on mobile is a big cringe move on Twitch's part. Yeah, oh, uh, I got a question for you actually. Uh, how long are you gonna be oh, open? Because 
I got an order upstairs uh, that's got a, a delivery, but not quite just right now. Oh, shit. thinking about it, but I wasn't sure if I was up to it whenever you were going to be here last, because that's really cool. We should oh, have you is not real followers? Hey, that's in Twitch's eyes, okay? I didn't I didn't say that. Uh, Alright, let me make a roll. It's d20 plus his decking of 3. That's an 18 plus 3. That's a 21. Okay, he's going to get some pretty good information. Let me go give it to him. See what actually he's talking about here. Two things I want to get done. Hmm. I want to make sure nobody can get any footage coming off of my cameras from here. I have ones in the hallway. Oh, he's mom. getting decking security for and... the hotel. One more boys. speaking to Silas yesterday, and I want to get rid of that footage so no one can find that at all. I mean, it's super easy just to loop some footage if I have the access code, so... Yeah. You give me the codes, I'll loop the footage, and I'll uh, see what I can do about upgrading your security. And if you want... Codes. I didn't mean to go out well, of bounds, chat. My speedrun is still valid. You've got in your area. Link up there. That way you can you have access to the it. The footage, I think he's talking about the security okay. footage for the inside of the hotel, because you see they have a camera right there. We'll make up a console. There's the console. Perfect. Alright. Hey boop, it's me, the console. Hey console. DM, what's up? Oh. <laughs> I got this. I, I was I was already oh, listening thing? to their conversation. No, this isn't the thing. This is a separate thing. Gotcha. <laughs> There's a thing. What? No. There's so many things. That's Leroy. Shop. So many many <laughs> things. Oh, I know. Uh, so I'm. So we're gonna loop yeah, the security just... footage here so that yes, people can then... see what's going on in the hotel. Absolutely. With the Super security footage from yesterday, easy. and then, uh, perfect, and then... Yep. Purge it from yesterday, and... Make, maybe encrypt it so that if anyone tries to, like, hack into it, they're gonna have a harder time. Sure, and let me make a roll with your decking, decking four. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's a 14. That's pretty good encryption. Alright. Well, <laughs> job's done. <laughs> Simple as that. Also, related to the thing, uh, you notice this when you're checking your sort of tablet, Bertram. Uh, you have a information dump ready for you in your uh, in your secret lab. I go take care of something. Um... You should. So unless they're royal skilled, or maybe some corporate boys. Uh, other than that. Let's hope not. Has been looped. You should. Alright. Use your idea, Bertram. See you around. Take it easy. Let's talk. I got to get a new chair. <laughs> okay. So, 
one th uh, huge information port basically from your row based comms network that tells you a few things. Uh, first of all, uh, there is a confirmed Trident informant somewhere in the row who is feeding regular information to the Megacorp. Uh, this is a drop off that happens daily, 30 minutes before the Sweepos roll in at the Red Garden. Hmm. Okay. Secondly, because one of those dead drops was already collected, you know where they go. They go to a Trident News Depot somewhere in the inner city before information gets processed and then passed up the line if it's deemed valuable. So, to stop the flow of information, you essentially have two options. Either find somebody high, up, high enough up at Trident to get into that facility who you can trust and delete that specific information, or you could always organize a shadow run. Okay, and so um, when I'm looking for the, at these data dumps, do I am I able to decrypt any of the uh, the pictures or any of the uh, information that's being transferred? You see a few pictures, uh, basically, uh, because the data dump is actually stored on a physical drive that is handed off but you see an outgoing communication from a Trident guard uh, that just says, like, you know, might have something worth looking at, and it's a picture of you and Locke on the bench. Oh, shit. Is that little girl spying on us? She had a little robot with her. Oh, fuck. Invictus, come in. Do you read? This is Bacchus. Meet me in the, uh, the safe, safe place immediately. It is absolutely necessary. Meet me alone. Oh, the safe, safe place. Oh, shit. Uh, why is this open? It's not open. All right. <laughs> Weird. Oh, I'll, I'll note that down. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's closed. Nope. Well, I'll worry about that later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that's a checklist. Said that to the devs. Invisible door. <laughs> Welcome, chat. The new reunion bunker. Blasters will come in handy. The hub of all anti-corp activity, nested underneath the row. No longer are they a bunch of tables with a box for it. We have crafting stations down here, storage facilities, hidden yet deeper beneath the tunnels. Behind Mechanica 4 locks and multiple blast doors. They're a real they're a real operation. No, the box fort is still there. That's why he just he distinguished between the safe place and the safe safe place. <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> Did it start already? Yeah, been going for 15 minutes. Right, where is Mr. Mr. Invictus? Yeah, the door's invisible. I don't know why we're working. I, I noted it down.
P walking. Real men are P walk to their destination. This was the wrong way. <laughs> walking and we're moving <laughs> uh. <laughs> can't tell when it's open or not it's like down here and then it's through this and it's back here and through the blast door. And through the blast door, you have the handprint. <laughs> My dude's pacing. We have a big problem. Do we have a nod? You put on the screen a picture of Bertram and Locke having a conversation on a bench. I picked this up on the comms. Intercorp communication from Trident. A guard's gonna go pick up an information dump today. Apparently they do it every day at the Red Garden about 30 minutes before the sweepos come. He said uh, it looked like there was something useful, so they were gonna come get it hand delivered. I was able to decrypt this picture, and uh, well, I don't know if you remember yesterday, but there was that tourist looking girl going around taking pictures of everyone. She very uh, blatantly took a picture of us. I didn't think of anything anything of it at the time, but now that I'm picking this up, she had the little robot with her. Something like that. If it's Corp Tech, it could easily have a tracking or a listening device in it, rather. Which means, most likely, our conversation, everything about Simon and the church, is set to be delivered into Trident's hands this evening. We have a couple options. One, the most unlikely option, is we have someone up in Trident that we can trust to scrub the footage. I can't really think of that many people that would be willing to do something like that. The other is we... Well, we could get a run together. Some anonymous uh, mercenaries to smash and grab for us before the uh, information gets leaked. Nobody's anonymous. Got cameras everywhere. That's why we live in the sewers, Bertram. There's no such thing as anonymous. That's why I always wanted to do was hit their system that tracks every single person's personal data. Then we could actually do what you suggested. We Until have access then, to the Rose Cobb, do There's one shadowy picture. Zoom and hands. It's over. Look. I might be able to scramble the camera footage up there in the garden. If I can do that... We can make sure that they don't know what hit him. However, if whoever is going there doesn't come back and come back with something, then they're going to know something is wrong and there'll be an investigation. Do you not remember Korgak? I do. All right. Uh, you don't remember what if we as went... well as I did. What if we went for the girl? 
If she's doing this, I'm going out of her way to do it and send her to try it and put her on the list, find out what to do with the body. It's gonna take a while to work to her though, there's bigger fish to fry. You saying I should kill her, get her scrubbed? Are you not over this yet, Bertram? Do you see what we're in the middle of? Do you understand what we're doing? Uh, I get it, My but she's a girl. problem last year was that you were almost completely off the rails. You were more invested in your robot and your own leads up top than you were down here. And things almost fell apart because of that. I need you to focus and spend less time drinking by yourself in your shop. You think I want to do this? You think I enjoy look, this? Invictus, look. If she's working for the corpse, someone that young, they're doing it for a reason, and it's not corp loyalty. They're not down here uh, drudging the bottom of the barrel for the betterment of the corpse. If we can figure out what motivates her, maybe we can, I don't know, do something. And it's in your hands, Bertram. I'm sure you'll take care of it. With the amount of shit that's going on, and planning an actual offensive with the other remnants of Reunion, most of the other cells were wiped during the invasion. Most of my time is spent gathering everyone that I can alongside the few remaining leaders. I don't have time for this. All right, can I get permission to pull on the reunion's resources for this? I can't do it alone. I thought you were assembling a team outside of reunion. At least that's how you made it sound. It was a thought. I know exactly do you trust to do that. There's shadow runners. There's a database, a network. I might be able to get in touch with some of them. You remember what happened to all those shadow runners that used to meet at the grindstone, Bertram? They're all dead, or fled, or gone. There is no well, shadow runners, runners because no one can shadow run. The amount of security on this planet. It is a stranglehold. It's why that database needs to go. If it can be destroyed, that means it doesn't matter where your face is captured, Bertram, because as soon as they try to cross-reference it, there's no data to cross-reference it to. And then people can risk that kind of thing. Wait, which database are you talking about? You remember when I told you I was having conversations with someone up top? Someone from the upper city? Yeah, I'm I mean, popcorn right now. Does the name Reynolds mean anything to you? Uh, Reynolds, uh... I mean, yeah, but... Try to see you. Wait, Reynolds, Reynolds? Reynolds, Reynolds. I know you're not about to tell me that you were working for Reynolds. Wasn't working for him. The next few things we're going to say are going to be very hard to understand, but I need you to listen. Before a reunion was able to get back on its feet, we needed equipment. We needed a way to fight back. I found myself cornered by a man who was far more cunning than I. What was so disarming is that he fought on the ground as part of strike teams, kill teams. He worked for Astral. If you ever wondered how I got all my stealth equipment, it was through this man. However, as time went on, somehow he found himself in Traverse. And then he found himself in a high-ranking security position in Traverse. And then he brought me in. 
and then he handed me off to another friend up there, one I trust explicitly. He left Traverse. Not very long after he came out as a CEO of Trident. Reynolds himself. Reynolds knew exactly who I was, where I was, and what I was doing. Now you ask yourself why he helped? <laughs> what does Trident care about? Controlling the media, the perception of the of everything. Perception, ratings, money. What would get more viewership, more ratings, more eyes than a civil war on a fringe planet? His intentions were not pure by any means. But he also was not informing the corporations of my movements or what I was doing. However, something with this man shifted. I don't know what it was. He never explained it to me. He told me at some point that our conversations would have to stop. That we can't risk communication anymore. Even though in my possession is an untraceable very, very, very expensive experimental uh, radio that is used for Trident spec ops and kill teams. I still have it. I used it to communicate with him. Reynolds sent me a missive. He said, if I try to contact you after this, it isn't me. I didn't know what that meant. Do you remember when we were holding out the grindstone? Look, he looked right at me while I was invisible. He's kind of freaking. Communicate. Yeah. I came back battered and shot in the leg. One can save my life. I don't know what they did, Bertram. But Reynolds is dead. They replaced him with something that's exactly like him. Soon after, I got a communique from him, and it said, Locke, if you hear from me, I am dead. The person that you thought I was is no longer who I am, and you cannot trust me. You want me to stay away. The person who was out there waiting for me was this new Reynolds. The entire squad of Astro, they wanted to send a message. I have something he wants. I can't t tell anyone. Not yet. If information gets to Trident, Bertram, of who we are, it's over. He will bring everything down on us. I have the one thing in my possession that can change this from survival to a war. I will not go into detail, but I will say one thing. At any point in time, I can see every single blip on this planet that is a corporate asset. Everything. It's a very limited window, but it's enough to plan raids. It's enough to strike them where it hurts. It's enough to feed actual Shadowrunners information to stay safe and free. But we could change the whole standing here. We can change everything. But Reynolds cannot find out. going to be a corporate soldier in front of you. It's going to be someone who is scared and is not willing to fight. They rather turn you in. That's the whole reason I picked the backseat position in this whole thing. I... 
I can't pull the trigger on a on the person that's just getting used by the system. I, I, that's why I left the corpse. Do you think the soldiers of the corporations enjoy their job? No, but I'm not a soldier. I'm an information guy. I set up runs. I don't do runs. Not in of our people are soldiers, except those who were formerly GU. They're people who are tired of being butchered and massacred and dragged away in the night for experimentation. Betrayed. For God's sakes, they made fucking slave colonies under our noses. They don't care. The people who are afraid will not act. I'm an officer, not a terrorist. We'll do this your way, but you had better not fuck up Bertram. All right. If you do, everything's over. All right, then what do you think I got no more time to do? rest. I'm going to see if I can locate the location of this uh, private drop box. If I can, maybe we can scramble it and uh, corrupt the data before it even gets there. And then it's just a matter of finding the girl, and deleting whatever local copy she has. I'm sure we've got enough muscle just to snap that data pad of hers. And what happens if she decides that obviously we know something or we are threatened by Trident? And she goes and tells them what we did. Good point. It comes worse comes to worse. I'll make sure where someone's on hand that can deal with it. Do we have access to any amnestics? Anything that could wipe their mind? Still got friends at the clinic? After the doctor's disappearance. No. I don't let these guys keep going, but it sounds like they've reached their conclusion. God damn, dude. Oh. This scenario turned out like hmm, way better than I could have ever thought. That's why I want I think this is what I think that Neon Divide does so well is this like self-motivated faction v faction, player v player roleplay. That's like what it's built on. Like here's a faction right now. Here's a here's a couple of the wyverns yeah, the team, sure. working out security it. contracts with people. Who knows who they want to put their no? new fashion designs in the row for people to buy? It's it's good. It's real good shit. His last order was come and they came. Disaster Nick, them, thank you for the, the Disaster uh, Nick just subscribed. For the four months. Yes. I've been going mad thinking about what's inside them. Cypher, I got this covered. Okay. Cool. All right. Catch you up to speed. What's going on? Can try and make entry by force. Understood. Go for it. The, uh, as from what you can tell, the lock is severely rusted and. You could probably kick it down or shoot it? Uh, any amount of force with anything, really. It's gonna come down to a roll. <clears throat> we 
with a nine, and I'm gonna add in your combat experience into it for a plus four. You put your heel into the door, comes down pretty easily. It's open. Please tell me our doors are better than mine. I mean, hey, we got blast doors. Freshly installed, too. finish your sentence but okay walking in through the hallway into this room you just see mountains of just trash or decay not really sure what this room was before but lot to you it's a little bit familiar kind of reminds you you can't really put your finger on it but on the other side of this pillar over here you can kind of see on the other side uh, on that door some of the faded lettering M A D R looks like it was a, sen a sentence or a couple of words at one point they're spaced out though Please. Oh, you can figure it out come here all right uh, fucking cry somebody had a drinking problem what the fucking songs of that thing <laughs> well Jesus you're making like that anymore. Kind of batteries. Don't, don't touch it, Bertram. Might turn you into something. Yeah. As you run your hands over the battery, or whatever the fuck it is, it looks like a battery. <laughs> Thin layer of dust comes back onto your hands. Whatever's in here has not been touched in a long time. Thankfully, anything electrical is probably inert by now. Locke, as you get closer to the door with an 11, you're finally able to see what those word, what those letters were. Maintenance hanger. No shit. Bertram. Hmm. We've got to get the boys on opening this fucking door. It's faded lettering. Look at the top. Closer, boy. It says maintenance hanger. Look at this. Hello. Hi. Uh, I wanted to ask if, uh, Grindstone? The Grindstone. To, uh, assume, uh, would I be able to pull a weapon for myself from our inventory? And if so, yep. is a Any, another uh, machine level, pistol okay? Yeah. Uh, level one or two. Oh. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Yes, uh, Thank you. Is there any organization or individual with Hey! What's up? Hi, I need my speed setting to slowness 5. Slowness 5, huh? Oh. Alright. And I need a d20 roll because I forgot to do this at the beginning for my main mid edge. Panel. Oh right, now it's in the combat tab. Right. Mm. I know that you can't do the, the slowness through the quick menu like click yeah, select the... thing because uh, it only goes to three. There we go. Um... Oh. Yeah. See that. Hey. Okay. Add trait to. Can I add this? Yes. Shit? I can't stand it. I got scared. Yes. Skullmancer said it, so I only had like a limited time of <laughs> slowness five, so five. I had to go back to like holding the stick part way. I think that worked. Should work. 
hasn't. Okay, I'm gonna ask FaZe for the command. I, I keep saying to him, he needs to, he needs to set it so I can hey, just FaZe, be fired uh, from the I need a command help. Yeah, what's up? Uh, I'm trying to give Deciduous uh, slowness five. Oh, um... I don't remember what the command for that is. I tried add trait. Yeah, add, add status. Add status. Yeah. Add status. Yes. Uh, oh, here we go. We got the that he could slowness. Also, alternatively, you could unlock his sheet, and he can change his minor slow to a elevated yes! slow. Yes! There we go. Thank you! Uh, I believe yeah. that should be what he wants. Now I just need a d20 roll, please. Thank you, Cypher, and I will be out of your hair. All right, one d20 roll coming up. How's a 19 look for you? I forgot to do this earlier. 19. Oh, this is one I've really been wanting. So I have it set so I can get a random skill point. Mm -hmm. But because it's over, there's some that are, you know, go over the amount that's actually there. 16 is the max. I have a few here that are like specials or duds. Like I have mm -hmm. 17, which is clowning. 19. Relating to his backstory and his home planet, advanced technologies. So Ooh. for this episode, Torok knows stuff way beyond human capacity. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun. Cra and um, mm -hmm. it's happening in 30 minutes. Um, I, I want to see if I can triangulate the location of this transmission. So see if I can find like an address or an apartment or an office or anything where this transmission came from because if it if is this the, the, the uh data trident itself, stuff yeah he's yeah. gonna try and uh try and get where it was sent from okay i got this all right i'll leave it to you roll for you yep uh eight plus his decking level of four so an 11. Uh, so, uh, you... Hang on, I need to go check the apartment number. Okay. I believe it was... Oh, which one was Zoe's apartment? It's this one, right? M08? You guys remember? Start of the session? I think it, I think it was this one. Yeah, M08. M07? It's 7. Okay. Alright, uh, you realize uh, the confirmation ping was sent from the corporate docks. Uh, and on the outskirts of the row, and it was sent to, uh, it was CC'd to a Trident storage depot somewhere upper in the inner city, uh, and it was also CC'd to apartment M07 in the row. Okay, M07. So, okay. Hmm. So, is that their actual and, apartment? And what I've intercepted is a communication with pictures, right? Yes, I checked. I, yeah, I will. Uh, Sorry, go on. You, you saw saw basically uh, a communication with some basic pictures that are, you know, you could tell that it's of that conversation, as well as just a bunch of general uh, info from like just locations around the row, uh, some like mostly harmless info that you see. You see just pictures of the noodle shop, areas like that. Uh, okay, I would like to cross-reference M07, the apartment, with the data data that we have of all citizens on the row given to us by coach to see oh. who lives in that apartment. All right. Or what their name is, because I know it's the, in, it's the girl that was taking pictures of us. In doing that, you discover that the person who currently has that apartment is known by a Rachel Faust. Rachel Faust. Apparently... 
It is one... It is rented by one person, although the lease has... Or at least the documentation says there are two residents living in that location. Okay, what's the other resident's name? Uh, it does not have it listed. Hmm. Okay, running a quick background check on Rachel. Uh, does anything come up? Let me make a roll. And then I'll get their sheet ready. Uh, that is an eight. So nothing, uh, nothing much comes up. You see that they are in a contracted employment by the Trident Mega Corporation as a, in, as a, uh, or, uh, their job title is remote news, informant. Yeah, remote informant. Uh, and you see the sort of details of their employment is that the data data jumps that they give to the Trident employees will be held in a. Uh, quote, news processing depot. Repeat that last part. Uh, the data dumps that they give to Trident employees are before they're taken to the upper echelons of the upper city to air on news broadcasts are stored in what is known as a news processing depot. If he goes okay. to the apartment, I'll take care of it. So to make sure I have the timeline of events right, she will give it to an Atlanta guard at the, at the, uh, the, Red garden. Shit, the Red Garden, and then he will take it to the news processing plant, and then they will yeah, where bump it, it up will be to the there CEOs. for you know a number of days as they sift through the um like ten million things of information that go through ev- the city every day. Okay, so essentially, I can I have the option of either doing a hasty smash and grab right now, or yeah. trying to calculate a, a some sort of a run on this depot. Yeah, you, you essentially, you can target the informant, target the drop, target the depot, or target the HQ. Okay. Good to know. All right. That's all for now. I'll probably ping you guys later. All right. 10-4. Thank you. Yeah, uh, sorry, just... I don't know if you heard. Um, Zori has some stuff, exposition that they want done if anyone enters their apartment. So I'll take uh, I'll take that if. Uh, Sounds good. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. Do a um, do a uh, create sensor on the inside of their apartment door so you'll know if anyone enters. Paul, I'll, I'll do that. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to hop to the upper city. The ETA of like 30 minutes to an hour. I'll, I'll still be in this channel though, so if you need me, holler. Understood. It's heating up. Yeah, chat. It's already it's, it's episode two, and things are heating up. This is like, you know, because the pace of things heating up are determined by the players and what they want to do. We haven't even started pushing DM storylines yet. This is just a player had an interaction with another player which led to them doing a counteraction which led to them learning stuff about that character's backstory and now they're planning a potential shadow run against the faction that that character works for like that's fucking that's <laughs> like that's the fucking RP dude and Arrow just letting you know I'm Hopping into the upper city now. Gonna be poking around. Haven't really been able to pop in all session, to be honest. I'm kind of waiting uh, a little bit for um, hopefully the map pop to, to die down so I can download all the avatars. What is the four six eight twenty? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. Are you asking me math questions?
It's actually just a math question. Oh god, why is the upper city spawn room so dusty? Hey! How you doing? Good. Introduce him. Drowdash. <laughs> That's nice, I like Where that. Or the fucking other t You know what I hate, though? And I'm sad about? I can only carry so many of these stupid takeout boxes so I keep having to go back. I can I can carry a max of five, and that's both my hands full and a fucking, like, gun on my hip. So I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> uh, the four decking would be his skill level. The eight would be... Uh, it, what I rolled on the d20. So that would add up to... Uh, a 12, which was like a middling amount of success. Depended on the DC of that roll, which was a 10 plus. I thought you were actually asking me fraction math. What sort of look is it? We had a completely different name. No way. I mean, like, right, right outside of our, our own, like, front gates, right? We, we somehow type the, 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 like, the, the bar name backwards. It's not a good look. No wonder freaking uh, news people were making fun of us. I'm sorry, the name escapes me. I'm, um, I'm not on my best game today, but, you know. Trident! Yeah. Trident, yeah. Trident folks <laughs> are going to make fun of us when we got our names backwards on here, okay? We're paying them a okay, visit next. Okay, they'll be eating. Yeah, after we learn how to shoot gums, we're gonna go, uh, you know, visit Triton. Okay. Unrelated, you know. <laughs> and also, just, um, just a heads up, Max has two accents, and they overlap each other very constantly. And one of them sounds like yours, and the other one sounds very much not like yours. So, if he seems a little bit slow in the brain, it might be just because his brain is processing two accents at once. Right, and we're, Max isn't here today, though, right? Where is no, he? he's not. He's not here. Okay. He has a hard time saying Sarah. Yeah, he can't say my name. Sarah. Cricky sounds different. Sarah. It's been a long time, you know, since Craig has done the like, music slightly loud. Sarah. Thank you, editor. Sarah. Okay, we're going to uh, Valkyrie, right? Yes. Shoot. Are there any Valkyrie characters in right now? Oh yeah, Kraken also had like, yeah, dental work done. So he has a little bit of a lisp. Which also might be why Ricky sounds different. <laughs> Corporation Valkyrie uh, Element off. Hello. Hello. Hi. Everything's fine. Huh? What's going on? Hi. Nothing's on fire. It's. Hi. What do you need? I'm glad to hear nothing's on fire. We're just here to try out a gun for a uh, casual shooting, uh, you know, experience. You know how it is. Yeah, we make. Yeah, we make those. I am well Can aware. Can we use them? Oh, go get some. Do you have a fire extinguisher? It's okay. I'll get one. Yeah, but I went into the office instead of the lab. We have an actual crafting bench in the lab.
I'm pretty sure. No? Yes, it's right here. Yes, okay. Guns. Valkyrie pistol. Craft. Valkyrie rifle. Craft. Valkyrie heavy cannon. Craft. <sighs> oh god. Come on. Please try the guns. You're doing great. Here you go. I wish you the best of luck. Is this is this a fireproof cube? It might be. Oh shit, I set up my own alarm! <laughs> it's fine, everything's fine! Go away! <laughs> I set up my own alarm! <laughs> Adara, I backed up into the Valkyrie alarm and set it off accidentally. <laughs> Don't worry about it. No worries. It's fine. I understand. <laughs> what do I even look like? Oh, I'm bald. We'll see if they want to try the big one. Would you like to try one of our newer products? What is that? Jesus we, Christ! I don't we just we call it the big one. Oh, Here, me, try it out. That Wasn't that like please so use both hands when firing it? Oh no! You see, I actually don't need to. I have the uh, I have the uh, Kimbo trait, which means I can oh. hold uh, two different guns in one hand. You know, it's kind of cool. Okay. Right? Hey, good luck with That's... that fire, though. That sounds like it's rough. Yeah, um... I'm gonna call the boss! He can wield... He can wield two guns in one hand! glued to your hip um there you go oh, all right so old ricky uh you know in my limitless training 
I actually have the capability of using two guns at once, right? That's not what most <laughs> it's gonna be really sure funny if one of these time. doesn't fire. But like insanely aim, funny. Like this, oh, oh no, I'm gonna miss, you know? But if you have them at the hip, ah! uh oh. Wait, I don't think they were loaded. That's embarrassing. I don't think they were loaded. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. Also, I don't think they were loaded. fuck? Turned it upside down. There we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. That one works. Also, I'm pretty guy. sure the heavy cannon you yeah, have to do hand. Like, this one got all flipped. Hope this doesn't shoot backwards. Oh. Uh. Careful. Careful. <laughs> Just don't blow us up in here. Please. I think it was shooting upside down. Wait, I have an idea. Oh, oh that looks new. Something's going on. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. So imagine if I hit the target, right? Imagine if I hit the target. Gonna do go over here and just uh, FX smoke. <laughs> A little. I know you think you're gonna shoot behind you, but actually, how you reload it. See? When it's red, it means it's got ammo. Is that a fire? Is that a grenade or a fire? Uh. What is that? Hey, Do you worry? You know what? It's probably fine. So I don't think it's fine. Hello, Gab. Uh, we need to Sign, are Please you still in the upper city, buddy? Yeah, sure thing. Here. Yes. Can you help me out with the Shinikami thing right now? Sure. Sh Shinny way. is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go talk to Shinny. I, I just need somebody to handle that while I'm handling, like, three other things in the background. <laughs> Everything at hey. once. I'll debrief you in the corner as to what's going on. Where you at? Okay. Cool. All right. So customary thing, you know how um, astral contracts are majority shared towards Trident. Trident's mm -hmm. just asking for fifty point one percent. Is the drink to your liking? Um, right. She's stonewalling it. Uh, so he's told Val, his assistant, Perfect. to go ahead and put out a message Here. to Astral Headquarters immediately that we're going to start shorting their stock. Provided. One at a time, as fast as we can, until this is rectified and she gets a call. This is to send them into a panic to fix this. Thank so. you. All right. All right. I'll cool. track that. So it might... Splinky Maduder, but I'll leave it up to you. Hmm? Well, I mean, this is, like, happening real time right now. All right, say, so. say, that, uh, uh, say that again. <laughs> this is happening real time right now okay. so if they're gonna call and be like yo what the fuck is going on that's gotcha. that's what i'm trying to convey that's why hundera was panicking <laughs> gotcha 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 <laughs> so anyway i'm gonna sit back down let the scene carry out all right we're good we can resume scene so i don't want you to get a corporate spanking right now when you could just sign the simple contract. We're not negating your ability to work for other corps. We just need to have the available military presence so we need to do raids wherever the hell we need to do them. We can call on your forces to do that. It's less the priority, it's more the available force pool. Does that make sense? Yep, it does. And that would be, in fact, part of this golden contract. The golden contract of us getting the first contract is standard. I don't understand what you're trying to offer me here. Priority. And 100 Again, I don't want ability. priority, I want bodies. Well, considering our situation on this planet, that is a thing that I couldn't even offer you if you got 100% of the shares. Ten more Our bodies, budget has been cut to the point bodies. where we're... It doesn't matter. 
I need over half of what you got. Well, that would be three people at the moment. Well, that might be your command staff, but trust me, you have more personnel than that. Considering that we're not even given the budget to buy a simple crate of ammunition, I'm not going. Uh, I'm not sure of anything anymore. We're offering you a budget. You can access our stores of ammunition. We've always been your Sounds... friend. I think this is a miscommunication because you haven't negotiated with Trident before. And I'm trying to rectify it and stop wasting. I am literally burning millions of credits by trying to get you to understand what's going on here. And I'm really interested. So if we could that. skip the hoopla and my political maneuvering to try and get your command to tell you to fucking do what I just needed to do, I'd rather we just skip the BS and just start working together. Your little secret agenda is whatever the fuck you need to work on in order to keep yourself afloat, you can go ahead and do that. I don't really give a shit. All right, then. Then the question is just how much are you offering? Conrad. Yes, sir. Put up this goddamn contract. I gotta go I'm take that this. call with the president and get that sorted the fuck out. And I gotta contact Mr. Masaru about what's going on with, the, well, his whole corporation. You, work with him. Okay. Was this like is our head of security. Three, this is the guy minutes? who will help you out. This is also someone who leads covert ops. Start working information both fucking ways. It's the way this fucking works. And get a hand on them. I don't want to have to talk, talk about this again. Is Valerie! Right, sir? Since she's willing to will tell the fucking line, hold on that email. If she starts bucking up again, stay in here. If she starts devoiding that contract again, send it. Excuse me, Encore sir. with me. Yes, sir. Oh, perfect. I almost forgot. Security. You keep your ass here, Tinkan. Every ping for Founder, you. Never change. Engage entertainment mode on my departure. I never. Okay. Affirmative. This is from the uh, astral local station that is in orbit. <laughs> Essentially, what Mr. Reynolds has done, uh, as in real time, uh, while you were negotiating, started shorting Astral stocks one by one. You don't worry about Effectively, that, leading the company right money now, right? While he negotiated with you. So the directive that Astro is telling you now is essentially take as much of the resources as you can, but sign the contract. Well, hmm. that was the plan anyway. He's considering that Tandera set us at a wonderful budget of zero. I don't know if Capo informed you of that, but um, yeah. These contracts are your budget. This is how you get budget. Okay. So then, Mr. Reynolds, what are you offering? <laughs> Mr. Ludovic, but I'm charmed. Um, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Ludovic, you don't worry about it. <clears throat> I'm the man who makes negotiations. I'm the. I would be careful. Mr. Reynolds is more Mr. of the strong hand. I'm the one that makes. I'm the one that makes you happy. Mm -hmm. And so, what I'm negotiating. For them. It does seem that way, doesn't it? The Janus was another agent. Your agents come and go. What's your name? Your call sign. Fick, sir. Fick? F I C K? Bravo, Echo, Kila. Beck. Okay. Beck, I'm Mr. Reynolds. Pleasure, sir. Pleasure. I had a conversation with your commander just now. I got her to understand that we really don't give a shit what the fuck you're doing with your subversive crap or whatever else you need to do for the other corpse. What I'm after is manpower. Shadow runs are going to start picking up again now that the pieces started to settle in. I need you guys ready for reactive activities. That's just about it. So, whatever this stuff was, worrying about us having conflicts of interest with other corpse. We got bigger fish to fry. There's fucking reunion down there and a goddamn rebellion that's starting to build up. Not happening, all right? Just be ready for raids. I'll send you guys contracts and payment. It'll be easy to do. Wonderful, thank you. Like. Give, me the, give me the good stuff. All right, 
Mr. Beck, I have asked Encore to go over and find out why Valkyrie hasn't come by to have a contract yet. If you'd like to escort them, you're welcome to. The contract's currently being sorted by your commander and Conrad. I'm sure you can radio them if you have any questions. Good day. Take care, Reginald. It's been a pleasure. Reginald. Yes, sir. Good man, Reginald. Keep it up. Of course. All right. Sorry, Fry. Uh, our Bruns is telling me that keys are kept in the bank uh, for apartments, and apparently there's precedent for this in previous episodes. Uh, um. That's still okay. I don't have recollection. Ask Booza. Uh, he, Brun says that he has gotten them before. Okay. Well, confirm with Booza real quick. All right. Just to make sure. You got it. Mechamer, she gifted a tier one sub to Alwyn on fire. They have given 1,300 oh, gift subs in the channel. Attention to your NDAs and your attention. Very good, very good. I mean, I don't have to tell you how valuable information is. As long as you respect us, we'll respect you back. That's the whole thing behind Trident's family. He's not in my map. We'd like I think he's in yours. Happy. Someone's getting confident. Okay, like Thanks. Thanks. Other than that, um, I would like to get into a close exchange with Trident when it comes to information on uh, potential targets and contracts. That's something we can easily provide. Can, uh, can I just Absolutely. be frank, sign the fucking contract and just go out and have a drink with them? <laughs> like, I need my fucking office back. I've got to take these calls. Mm. All right. Let me get that data, friend. Is it holding up a whole goddamn galaxy? Here? Right behind you. I'm not here, Kimchi. Check other maps. I think they might I be in under. Miss, if you'd go ahead and escort them out with uh, Conrad. Well, get the contract sign out here there. first. Sir, sir. Can you hear drinks? Sir, sir, sir. I'm done. Sir. What? Oh, what? Sir, we should have another one outside. One second. Sign the fucking contract here. She doesn't leave until that shit's signed. Sure. What? Permission to speak. There you are. It's so cute. Ah. Uh, can can we add right? some access to? I asked them if they were like real or synthetic, and they went. Stock. Well, they're, uh, part of a show. That's why we had you part of the whole Shimetsu project. They were actually managing it better. Mechamer, she gifted a tier one sub to the team. They had given 1,304 gift subs in the channel. What can I do for you? Is that a hard bear right here? Yes, it is. What He's definitely do? either going there or there. Sorry. Uh, I'm keeping Bruns waiting on this. It's. All right. If he says there's precedent, then we'll just honor system it. Let him have it. Yep, that's what I was thinking. All right. Where did well, he go? Little <laughs> sneaky. He went inside. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> going on in <laughs> I guess you would call this section Traverse Town <laughs> Yeah 
Yes, it's bro. Ooh, never oh, yeah, when did you gonna make a medical when? I've come I've been here for a while and uh it would have been nice to know to, that you'd be late for work instead of me having to hunt you down unsuccessfully because yeah, I... I was worried sick about you. Do we have a radio channel, darling? I know. I've been using it. You haven't been responding. Ah, uh, maybe it's um that problem we we'll usually have of the uh, radio channel not working. <laughs> Do you have we'll any of the radio channels that are working correctly? Our radio, our radio channel has been functioning Hey, Hunter, did that intel <laughs> come right, up about okay. now? Okay, we'll check on that later. Uh, anyway, yes, please do continue. Which intel is this? What, uh, Stuff from the row. Stuff from the row. Uh, I actually didn't would, uh, hear anything from the row yet. So, uh, the way that that info works is because it's from a over uh, informant is that it's currently in a news processing plant uh, where it's being sifted through and once it gets picked out of that lot uh, then it'll get thrown up to you. Okay. I will stand by for the alert on when that happens. Thanks. Yeah. I, I have nothing them, to do with uh, this. I don't know how well, this one works. Essentially <laughs> it's uh, giving reunion time if they want to make a shadow run against that storage deep. Okay. Cool cyberpunk cowboys. Yeah, I don't give a shit. I don't care if people see how I feel towards them. They can all burn for all I care. Especially how they treated Phil. All right. <sighs> on. The docking over there to give out some information because we need to look for specific people. We need to do facial recognition. We need to find just any. I'm sorry about that. Exactly. Well, it's, it's mm -hmm. They wish one aside. Mm -hmm. I may have to talk to them. But... Speaking of Masaru, how are they doing? Right. Want to come with me? That's the craftsman of that kind of thing, and I wanted to be respectful. It's more of a security thing. But, Indeed. Yeah. They're I'm actually like in here. Control. And then I'm like, and you're dead. It gives the warning to you as well. It also gives you the time to get out, even while it's wavering. Hmm. What, what kind of grade of armor are we looking at here? I'd ask more so what's well. in your budget, but it's more of a personal preference thing if you can take the weight of something. Uh, more substantial. I'm okay. quite, quite strong, heavy, and again with the blade attachment in case I need to do something in melee. Right. Wow. All right. I got my call. Um, whatever you need, you can pay for it. Like buy it with the company card. It's fine. Do what you got to do. I have to head to try it on an emergency call. I'll so meet you there. I will see you there. Oh. Fantastic. Well, maybe may uh, actually walk with you because I didn't need to talk about something with the, the RDL oh, yeah. with the uh, download. Absolutely. Step onto the uh, center of the plate there, actually. I'm going to um, take some measurements, take quick scan, out, uh, you know. Make sure we get your Understood. data in here so we can make something that fits. Ooh, damn boy, he thick. That's a thick ass <laughs> boy. <laughs> Is he gone? Okay, he's gone. I'm <laughs> no, I'm still here. I just decided to not talk. <laughs> Look, I unfortunately didn't plan on getting any bigger than last year, but... <laughs> Do I need 
to hold this pose for a while. Thick, thick plot. <laughs> but it would take a while. But it would still do it. Okay, so it would still do it. It just kind of delays the inevitable. It would take longer. Yes. Well, gotcha. it gives you that chance to get out of this hopefully. free, hopefully. And maybe Hope with just a couple of bruises, which is, I think, what we all want in the long run, is just a couple of bruises instead of gunshots. Preferably, I'd be unbruised, but I get your point. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but of course. Any Thank questions? you, by a... Ricky's like, yeah, I you can get nice. shot with guns. Me, I'm was... built different. <laughs> I would just be curious on to see what other options uh, Valkyrie has against this, because this is very, it's a very good lineup. We have high grade rounds. These folks are I... top of the line, but expensive. Valkyrie's a bit more, yes. you know, every man's weapon, but uh, the more affordable. So mm. it kind of depends what and our focus is. We want to provide to all of our corporate partners only the best. Every man's weapon usually leads to every man's injury. Wouldn't you want the best to protect yourselves? Mm. Yeah, but it's not if it's going to cross the norm in the leg. Well, that's why we do monthly contracts, and you can also provide things to us that can minimate, mitigate that cost, if you so please. No, I don't want anything. You. What can I help you with? Here to speak with your employers. Alright, anyone in particular? Give me Craver or Ditus. Alright, and uh... Do you have a name? Encore. Designation? Encore. Alright. One moment. You don't have what it takes to kill me. Mechamorshi, thank you for giving to the sub to Wazim. Mechamorshi gifted a tier 1 sub to Vokova Wazim. They have given 1,305 gift subs in the channel. You won't break. Yep. You get those. What's this? Are they hung up guns near the start? Oh, look at the tiny one! Look at the tiny gun! It's so cute next to the big one! <laughs> I thought those were two different guns, but they're so tiny! Yo! What's up? Uh, hello. Um, I was told by Kimchi to ping a DM that we are here to do a meeting uh, with the union and to make sure that we're all good to go in with, uh, I think, the amount of people that are in there, if we're good to go. Ah, right, the player count isn't here. Let me check. 44. You should be good. I see. God damn. Look at these yeah, union boys. So, it, uh, by the end, it was uh, me and then the, the road union guys. Uh, mm -hmm. We left, we loaded in, and then uh, uh, Jimmy and Jim had, had gone, to, gone down to the wasteland to go grab a toolbox. They loaded it in, and now, and just now. <laughs> Uh, our <laughs> Sinon came with Flint. Did you Are find Fishball? We found Flint. Yes. We found Fishball as well. Yeah, Fishball, Fishball's on the She's way. She's probably down below. So we have everyone coming in. Everyone is here. <laughs> Just about it. Uh, we don't have Nick Knack. Um, I think Marceline is still technically Union. Um, I think there's like oh one God, or two others. I hear Marceline, I just want to scream out the vampires. Oh, that's right. No, but yeah, it's <laughs> the <laughs> best <laughs> timing. Yes. Yes. Unintentional. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm not the only one. Yeah. Yeah. To answer your question, you guys should be good. <laughs> Yeah, it was, uh, uh, when, when we split, I was like, it was, it's like 44, 45, I was like, maybe we should, like, grab some food or something, so we, we got a drink, and then we came up uh, when it was, like, 39, so I was like, wait a minute, is that fishbowl? Wait, is this fishbowl? Yeah, that's fishbowl, all right? Fishbowl grew up? I would notice her anyway. That's crazy. She grew up still. That... 
CEO of Masaru, Masaru here to speak to Mr. Reynolds for Trident. Uh, let me go check and see if Mr. Reynolds is in. Hold on. You mean local head of Nassar, Masaru, not Galactic CEO. Mr. Reynolds is in, and uh, Valerie okay. is heading down to retrieve them. Good. Thank you. I forgot you were in this call. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I don't have any. Thank you, though. <laughs> I was sweating. I presume you're the one who sent the uh, email. Also needs help with something. But I'll wait 30 seconds, and if Andera doesn't get that, I'm gonna get that. Okay, he got it. I don't want to intrude too much, because... Andera's running the, uh, proceeding. But also, Chandler isn't here. So, you know, you might need a... An helping and Would you like me to take a seat? Wait for him to be available. Sir? Yeah, come on in. Ooh. That visual's kind of striking. It is still a shithole, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Not a lot's changed in the last year, but, uh... Eh, you know, we're working on it. It's good to see you again. Good to see you too. I love the coat. Very stylish. <laughs> I like the eye. Hopefully that's not offending you. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's it's something, huh? Good to see you, Calliope. Good to see you too. Reynolds. Damien uh, assured me that if there's anyone on world who could take care of uh, <clears throat> my needs, it would be you. So Absolutely. I plan on working with um, you directly. Perfect. Anything I or my employees can provide, I will be happy to. Very good to hear. The triumvirate's only going to be as strong as we maintain. And thankfully, the information flow on our end is supplemented perfectly by your own since we can't see what you see. It's uh, probably the best yes. partnership the galaxy's ever seen, right? Why don't you go ahead and uh, take I a seat agree. over here. And yes, uh, so Valerie, I hate to uh, reduce you to drink fetching, but if you could get her a drink, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. <sighs> So, first of all, uh, you posed a question to me that uh, I couldn't talk about on an open line. This Gregor Brunswick. Lock is their call sign, their handle, from what I understand. Their name is their name. Now, that is a war criminal. You remember uh, the entire situation that shifted the balance in the galaxy? Well, he's responsible for countless civilian deaths by doing something that was a entirely ris risky gamble in order to try and buy the Galactic Union time. Uh, that's why he's wanted. Now, him being here is not necessarily too much of a surprise given it's a backwater world that not too many people give a shit about. But him being here is still a problem. We saw Locke so, in the bunker Maya, earlier, by the way. With her, he was the uh, one plotting with Bertram. Just letting you guys know, because I know there's some new viewers to ND. Right. One second. I am removing that from my comms for the time being. Anyway, where was I? Get me back on track. Ah, Maya and her technology. Ah. That's why we were trying to use her as an asset to go and uh, isolate this individual and try to figure out the remainder of their network. I'm sure you can see how that is a useful tool. I will, however, warn you... Now that you're in the know about the Persona Fix project, that it is a failure. That is my stout belief. 
Uh, we still have some, we still utilize some. However, uh, they've proven to be faulty under emotional duress. And uh, given their technology, it could only be said, uh, I wonder what magic might do to it too, right? There's your beverage. So, my suggestion is twofold. First off, with her, have a secondary backup option in order to make sure that you have control should you perchance lose it. I'm giving you full clearance uh, outside of our norms to retain her blood. It is okay to do that. I need that in your pocket in case something goes wrong. You shouldn't have to gamble to try and find it in time before uh, something goes sideways if the Persona Fix fails. If you Absolutely. do catch wind of Brunswick, this is the key note. We don't just want to kill them. Doing that outright while cutting off the head of the snake seems smart. You really want to isolate the rest of the network. Give it time to bake the oven to, to come up to temperature. If we can isolate more parts right. of their network, we can do it in one clean stroke. That's been the strategy since, well, you know. Of course. Um, now, on that note, uh, mm. she did mention that she was following some... Trying to think of the exact way she phrased it, because I'm sure that's important. Uh, some people she believed were connected to him in some way, something like that. Um, she didn't do you have a name for them? Really didn't get a name, but uh, I can retrieve mm. one for you uh, very soon. So. All right. Well, just keep me appraised on that. I'm going to share the union details about that, obviously. Triggering their own is alarm. As open to you as, as it's been uh, for your return on that. Um, <laughs> so the keynote is to understand that we have a strong anti-corporate presence right now that's brewing. Uh, there might be more details that come up. We're not sure yet. But uh, now that I'm on planet, that's my primary focus is isolating it and removing it. I have to clean up Absolutely. someone else's mess. Here we are. Of course. Is it? <laughs> Howdy. Hey, uh, you requested a larger gun. Is it fine if I just, you know? Yeah, I got it. Uh, yeah, oh. Uh, oh, right. No, you it's, already, it's already good. Yeah, yeah I just, okay, yeah, was yeah, just yeah. making sure I'm running by you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, big gun like for a big guy. Yeah, that's fine. Big, yeah, exactly. Big, big boy with big, big gun. <laughs> All right. Just shoot the dummy already, dummy. <laughs> a heavier hand in picking out what exactly we're teaching. I have no problems being open with you on any of those fronts. I think at the moment we'll let uh, the individual staff members decide what they want to learn. Uh, I think that's fine. Sure. Um, the contract that you outlined in regards to the magic the tutoring service, the Holy stuff in the shit. Undercity, I've reviewed it. Obviously, I want Conrad to make sure... Nice! That Try not to I'm die while you're here! ...for upper executive position over the next years to come. So he needs to learn also, to do this on his own. did you see the Galactic but Union guys trigger their own alarm? Is that the contract is both... Oh, that's what that was? <laughs> yeah, I did. I was, like, really confused about it. Also, uh, Noodle asked a question. He just wanted to make a gun bigger for CC, so I let him do that. All right, yeah. That was actually me. Uh, I did not know I, I was allowed to press the button, so I'm like, I guess I'm just going to walk through, and I did not know it would trigger an alarm. I started panicking. That's a separate deal. We'll work that oh, out. Good. I would like that to be in the evening. I'm going to have a Trident car come and pick you up expressly, you. Uh, I will have one armed security person there to protect both of us during the process. Uh, it's probably going to be um, probably going to be a synth. But I'm sure you can understand that's fine. Um, my chief concern is making sure that I have as much protection as possible while I go about my duties. There might be something that draws me down below. So I'm not too much worried about... Um, as Damien puts it, uh, exploding people with balls of fire. Um, right. Something that might be more advantageous in a defensive, defensive. capacity would be better. I uh, perfectly understand. If you don't mind, I've been working on a special project for myself that I would love to demonstrate for you. All right. If you're fine with that. I'm fine I with could, it. I uh, could teach you to do something similar. Uh, we'll have to kind of fiddle around and find what exactly your uh, affinity with magic ends up being. But these kinds mm. of spells can be uh, very useful in defensive situations, as you put it. All right. 
Ah, I remember uh, Damien using something like this to protect a lot of us at one point. Yes, it is a uh, a staple the of defensive magic. I remember. Uh, I remember that the tethers. That's fascinating. I think I dropped my rune again. It's fine. Oh, bottom left. Ah, uh, good. All right. It keeps falling off me. I, I think it needs glue. No <laughs> yes, some they do tend to be quite slippery. Speaking of, it seems to be a shadow rune. I hope you don't mind my nosiness. Don't know if you uh, know anything about your magical affinities if or everyone around the if galaxy you... knowing about this whole invasion. I have no idea about any of that. If you want to probe and see what you find out, I'm fine with it. You can, I think the term was, ascense me. I'm, I'm yes. all right with that. Exactly. We will uh, well, take care of that during our, our, our night meeting. The night meeting. I think that's fair. Uh, I also don't that, want to alarm uh, any of the people who might be watching, <laughs> thinking that something is uh, going wrong in here. I think it'd be wise. Other thing would be... Um, we have a uh, enchanter newly recruited to the head of research filling my old position, and he can okay. theoretically enchant your clothing to make it uh, resistant to bullets, magic, whatever you... There and Chandler in the map are so both what? in the map, like so... My coat? Yep. I'm not going to interject. Interesting. Um... Hmm. It's another uh, more passive. Here, as uh, it's not quite as strong. Would like to be a good host and entertainment. So usually when an, um, meetings go along, we request it to be in a kind of facility. So if someone catches me off guard, I stand a little bit better of a chance. Absolutely. Write me up uh, a memo on that. Give me some recommendations. Uh, give me a price uh, estimate, and I'll see uh, whether the fiscals are uh, open to accommodating it at the moment. I'm sure it will be, but from what I understand from Mr. Masaru, that can be quite expensive. Hope you don't mind me standing. I've... Being back on this world's got me kind of in another place right now, if you know what I mean. Absolutely. Come on over to the window. Continue, please. Being a little riled up, um, astral, I, I feel like they're, um, not great. <laughs> Let me have a look at Calliope's Let me sheet real quick. Let me put it to you bluntly, Miss Calliope. When it comes to Astral, I, uh, I may have just uh, conquered that particular issue and nipped it in the bud, but we'll see. They're, they're on a... Um, if, if this was an old-time vessel, they're uh, on the I'm just saying right we're now. doing a meeting in the Union. I essentially... Um, I don't know if they wanted me to tell the, normal the DMs that, that we in the old map, across, so not sure if you guys need to know to that, but just saying. And while I don't necessarily care about the more sleazy activities that Astral tends to get up to, I still have the expectation that they're available when called. You'll probably be able to negotiate your contract at this point. Whatever you do, they try to call me to their ship, as ludicrous as that is. Don't come to their ship. They come to you. And if they give you any more trouble, you let me know straight away. I will. They, um, this sect definitely operates in an interesting manner. They, uh, when we spoke to them, they, they just bluntly stated, Oh, we kill people, so if you want us to kill someone, <laughs> send us the list. They, they... <laughs> They did not just outright say that. Yeah, absolutely. We just, we killed Astral. Yep. Cool. <laughs> they also had no idea where they were sourcing their armor from. Uh, one of my employees was interested in picking up a particular brand from really? Astral. Uh, but they they were completely clueless as to where their armor came from as well. So that was... Uh, That's interesting. Yeah. They really are just... Uh, the just impression I got was that their commander right was just here. new. Uh, they they seemed completely like a fish out of water. They didn't understand what was what. So I at first it was the stick because I thought it was someone who was being too uppity. Uh, but I switched to carrot and they they seemed to understand that they just were in over their head. But that being said, inexperience isn't an excuse for behavior. So I think you and I just kind of keep uh, tabs on it for now. 
I don't let it evolve as it does. I do have a uh, old asset in there. One of the uh, Make an people, I think. The, uh, shorter slime creature. Mm. We shorter done slime creature. Past. Yeah, he wears All a right. cowboy. <laughs> they go bad, I'm sure. I have an in there to shake things up if we need. All right. I have a backup plan too, but we hopefully won't have to resort to that. I would rather they just do our dirty work so we don't have to uh, yes. earn too much of the ire of the civilian populace. That would be convenient. Speaking All right, of, so you, how uh, does meet a Tom? Trident. Hmm? A Tom. Ever meet a Tom? Yes. Tom. He is uh, somebody you should definitely acquaint yourself with. I'm not sure if. The particulars. It might be something to ask Conrad about. Actually, ask Conrad about Tom. If he doesn't give know, me, give me a little bit more to go okay. off of than just a name. Sure. Why? why what's the relevance? He uh, he works for one of the anonymous corporations that uh, operate with uh, the lower city folk. You know, mm -hmm. when you need the job done. All right. Discretion. Absolutely. It's the name of his game. Interesting. Okay. If he uh, does know Tom, that's great. If he doesn't, I would be happy to introduce him, I'm sure. I think I know who you're talking about now. Okay. There's something good about having a face you can interact with to get other jobs done, isn't there? Absolutely. That brings me to my last topic that I wanted to broach with you, and this is something rather serious, but... I'm going to address it first and see what happens. I'm going to pull on a branch and see what falls out of the tree. Okay. Traverse. We had an uh, asset that was uh, closely knit to our organization for a time. Uh, start to uh, work with them, and then they flipped. I see. So okay. I'm not saying flip to Traverse. I'm saying flip to against corporations. Now, normally, I wouldn't give this much light of day except for the uh there's a lot of recordings of mr alex behavior over at the galactic union what he stood for what he was opposing it seemed like every step that mr goldman was trying to take alec was in the way i have uh a vested interest in trying to make sure that we isolate any sort of information over there that might be pertinent so I have a job underway, I believe, with this Mr. Tom uh, pending. I've given it to uh, Conrad to handle it directly. I will keep you appraised of what comes out the far end of that, but my suspicion is that at the moment, Traverse is probably the one corp we can trust the least, and that's with uh, Shimetsu uh, helping a Shadowrunner come into Trident Gates last year, if you remember. So um, definitely be careful with your arrangements with them for the time being. Absolutely. For now. Just so I have to respond to one of my employees trying to get a hold of me. Go ahead. Take your time. Uh, Cornelius, I'll be available shortly. If you want to go to the row, that's fine. I'll meet you there later. Go on over, Don. Cornelius, uh, still big as ever? Uh, bigger, I think. Somehow. Yeah, I'm just trying to get your a little bit of info for you over here. Excuse me, I'm gonna look out the window. What a great view. Well, I appreciate. Uh, yes. As you're having this conversation, there's something different to you about Mr. Reynolds. Something imperceivable to the naked eye, but to you, there's something different. The mana is the same. It's the same person, but the soul. Something wrong. Can't tell what. It's different. You turned him away? I see. He's probably just making sure that she's all right. That's all. Next time he uh, shows up, he's he's welcome inside. And we don't turn away Masaru. Or Geb. All right. Uh, where were we? Traverse. 
Yeah, uh, don't 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 overshare with them. Uh, be cordial, of course. We're not looking for an open engagement or conflict. We never are. Um, you know, the CEOs at the top are not responsible for the few bad <laughs> eggs that get in. So look at it that way, Absolutely. and address it as such. All right. I did uh, just to keep you informed on the loot for everything. I did uh, for my business operations this year have a contract with Avalon in the Undercity. Uh, hmm. Traverse is supposed to be making a new railway towards the Undercity. We're working out Interesting. Details for the rest. So, just so you know what uh, pies we're sticking our fingers into there. I'm trying to get uh, a hold of Valkyrie. It's it's weird to have so many people coming by for contracts, but Valkyrie hasn't stopped by yet. The same goes for mm. um, Traverse. I don't know if Traverse even stopped by, but obviously I'm not too worried about that one. It's just adding to my suspicions. Um, I'll see if I can't get a hold of uh, Valkyrie at the moment. Shimetsu's been very forward. I don't know if they have yeah, been with you as well. Someone triggered security. It's so needy. Okay. They've been to the date. So, you triggered your own alarm. Excuse me? Excuse me? I'm sorry, I tripped into the gate. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not fired, am I? You're two out of three strikes. Just to let you know, you're on thin ice, buddy. <laughs> thin fucking ice. Oh, the second goddamn day. <laughs> <laughs> Not strike two. It's his second day. Let's see how the union meeting is going. I don't know going. if anything came out. Uh, uh, some her speech module has been having a little bit of trouble today. So pardon. So. Is that about it? At least oh, for major concerns? Unfortunately. Uh, mm. I do believe you were looking to find another. There's something very employment. special Fishbowl, about how Coach sits on a chair. Something real special about it. I can't put my finger on it, mm. but he's I got was a going certain to way. Conduct you afterwards, <laughs> and, you know. But. <laughs> I understood. You just so, hug the chair. <laughs> if that's all the major stuff, uh, if you wish to uh, conduct that interview, uh, you may. And then you can meet meet uh, up with us in my office uh, while I, I speak with at least Flint and Coach about the dealings with the, un the Undercity. Very well. And then... Uh, maybe at least for the moment. <laughs> no sitting. Cuddle the upholstery. We, uh, Masaru, to build and renew the uh, transportation system, whole transportation system in the Undercity. Not only the, the uh, train, but the transportation within itself. Okay. Thing is, all the profit is going to come to us. Yes. Because we're not building a magical system, of course. True, but you know, it's on the contract because yeah, we could like split the uh, pavement of the building and they will like, get half of it, but all of the revenue Profits from of... people using that coming to us. Mm hmm. Paper ticket. Revers is the uh, transportation corp. So they're apparently working out a deal with Masaru, the Magic Corp, uh, to create a transit line into the Undercity. So people can get to the Magic quicker. Dude, 
Check out what fucking Masaru has. Look at this shit, dude. They have a fucking obelisk. A goddamn obelisk. And a fucking, like, arcane portal. They're looking real nice. It's your corporation in Obelisk. Oh, toolbox is here. I'm wondering when you were gonna fucking come. I might want to head in, the doors are about to close. Oh, hold on. Okay. Well, might, might as well make your introduction. We almost finished. Oh. He's lagging. You stuck? Never is biased because he's a Masaru boy. I can't show any side any favor. I am I am an impartial party. I promise. Breaking into car. Where will he go? I think I could get the talking balance right. Yeah, probably. Um, it, it's it's tech is uh, can be a little finicky. We have a lot of really cool systems here, so sometimes balancing what. You know, like your TTS system and stuff for your, 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 yeah, you know. So, but if you want to take a seat, hey. like we got like a, a short break here. Hey, buddy, what's going on? How much? <laughs> How you feeling, man? <laughs> I'm, I'm scheming. I'm scheming. Yeah, you liking you liking Mr. Reynolds back in his element? How's it suiting you? Yeah. Well, here's let me tell you what I I got going on. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could tell you what I I could tell you what I what I gave Calliope. I gave her a little bit of info to go off of. Oh. I told her oh, I rolled an Arcana check. Uh huh. She got an eighteen plus her skill. Damn. And I told her there's something you can't place. Well, you're sensing this mana. You're sure that it's Mr. Reynolds. There's something different. Something's off. I like that. And you can't place it. That's good. That's good shit. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's super fucking good. Well, um, yeah, if the question ever gets broached, who knows? Yeah. We'll see. That's a very <laughs> interesting thing to see what happens with. Um, yeah, dude, this has been a day. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> It feels like three episodes, and it's been like, oh, holy dude. fuck, has it seriously only been two hours? Yeah, <laughs> stuff oh has God. been moving, my guy. <laughs> People fuck. are making moves. We got, like, Jeez. the beginnings of our first shadow run underway in the row, like, reunions making moves. That's good to hear. Love that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm super pleased about that. Yeah, we actually put in one of our own, so that's, that's another one. Mm hmm so i'll uh i'll give you the deets on that after we don't want to spoil the surprise do we um but uh what's up i've been turning she's been turning people away <laughs> just you know you're the you're the talk of the town <laughs> on episode two. oh dude yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. excited to see what kind of unwinds. Yeah, it, I like know? how uh, I like how we're we're like, oh, we're gonna have the first three episodes be like a build up, get people situated. It's like episode one was chill, and then episode two is like everyone's like, now we make big moves, <laughs> big moves. Let's go, let's fucking get it done. Yeah, no, nah, Mr. Reynolds has gotten no chill, especially when he's cleaning up after someone else. Just saying. Mm. 
It's what we talked about last night, right? You and I? Hell yeah. So, yeah. Well, I'm gonna have some mango Pepsi, man. I got my can right here. Fuck Ooh. it. Not sponsored. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that's good, dude. All right. Hmm. Anytime you want to, feel free to stop by. There's gonna be sometimes I'm just gonna be like sitting here. You know oh, the yeah. deal. I've got I'm probably uh, gonna hop there's back a version to the of. That's fine. I've got a, a version of Wordle. It's mm -hmm. two Wordles at the exact same time. And your guesses count on both. It's oh like super God. hard Wordle. It's badass what as fuck. Hell? Yeah. I'll show it to you later. It's so cool. Him and Wordle lately. Mm. Like, right? Like, it's fucking. I like, fucking he's all love over it. it. <laughs> I'm a goddamn legend at that shit, dude. I'll tell you right now. When there's MLG Wordle, yeah, yeah, boy. All right? Yeah, all boy. Right. All right. Hell yeah. Don't shake your head at me. What the fuck? <laughs> Help! <laughs> mm. See you in a bit, homie. Go have fun in the row. Okay. Yo, Kimchi. When you know I'm loading back in right now. Uh, any big updates I need to know? Oh, yeah. I'll come back to you in a sec. Okay. Meet me in the spawn room. God, it's so silent, Chad, in the loading screen. I hope you guys are enjoying the session. The session. The 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 session so far. We're about at our halfway point. Got two hours left. Um. Sent as like a, a primer, right? Zoe, is that the case? If we're going by the original rules established, um, I would have sent something last night. But if we're going by the fact that I am now having to hand deliver it, uh, then you are hand delivering, yes. Yeah, so I don't know if I have hand delivered it last night anymore, or if that's just if that's gone. If that's gone, then it's still on my tablet and not given yet. Would your character have made that delivery last night, or would they do them infrequently? I'll leave Kimchi, that. This is Frenchie coming from the upper city. Well, escorting originally it was assumed that I'd be sending them every single night. But it just depends what is as a driving guard. Like I was in five intentionally, like I was intentioning to be sending you whatever pictures or files that made sense. Uh, after every single episode, so I assume that that made sense. That'd be after every single night. Uh, yeah, and I think it, it okay. involves the whole like not knowing about the things. All right, um, it's up to you I'm... how you handle it. I'm it, that's not a concern of mine. Um, also, the medicine is a hundred thousand uh, per uh, dose, but Trident is paying twenty thousand for it because they're getting bulk buy for a year each. Yeah. All right. That's information you would so, learn after, but yeah. Um, you'd write that down for them, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say, so that we have valid counterplay, it has not been delivered yet. Oh, cool. All right. Is Lomond um, still in the RP? Yes, so what are you doing? but he said that uh, basically he can't make every week, so he wants to be basically on call for... Uh, DM events. Also, today's Lawman's birthday. <laughs> so. He's not going to be in RP today. 
Uh, but in character, Goldman has now been promoted to the galactic CEO of Geb, so he's doing a lot of his work off planet. They give, they give. Cool. All right, then, um... Hello. Yo. Uh, I need a roll. What for? She, uh, she's not familiar with her magic, and I need to see if it goes out of control on her or not. Don't have any points on magic or anything like that. And I'm about to oh, cast okay. this now. <laughs> if that's something you can roll for. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so you're so you're casting magic you're unfamiliar. I'm with. casting my burning hand spell. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's like, am I about to problem here? <laughs> so let, hang on, let me pull up your list of spells. Uh, so I'm familiar. There's with one magic. inactive, but burning the hands. only one I need it. <laughs> yeah, I see it. <laughs> uh, fingers on your right hand are covered in a thin sheet of flames that can be chopped forth. A bolt. Mm -hmm. So, you, uh, what am I rolling for? Um, she's only ever cast a, a spell one more time by com to her memory by complete accident, and I want to know if it goes out of control or not. Gotcha. All right. Depending on how fast this is, if it looks like it is, uh, she has a way to react to this. What's but your I would arcana need to, skill? Uh... I don't. Ha I don't have anything in arcana. Just one in medical. Okay, I rolled a six. Uh, <sighs> if you have something to st put out a fire, you better start um, doing it. Uh, well, um, it's more just a... Uh, All right, well. <laughs> All right, well, in that case, right. if this is happening pretty quickly, uh, if she starts noticing it, uh, you're going to see something else. <laughs> uh, 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 why won't it stop? <laughs> stop it. It's pretty much being reflected back into the uh, hand, stopping. Fire affinity also, so she's just kind of... <sighs> Careful of that. Hello? Yo! Hello. Could you unlock my sheet, please? Okay. Second. Info. <laughs> unlock Schmoodle sheet. Done. Thank you. All right. Oh my God. Okay. I got it. So. I'm just unlocking a sheet. Yeah. Give me the brief. Okay. So. Uh, looks like we pretty much got the resolution. Uh of the Bringus thing. The end, okay, so here's, so here's, so here's things. the whole thing. Bringus went to go and get, uh, basically went into their apartment with the mm -hmm. key that I talked to you about, uh, found Zo found Rachel's, uh, mother, who is mm -hmm. bedridden, um, and they came to the conclusion that they will strike a deal, uh, in order to use their services, and in exchange, Reunion will pay for their mother's medical requirements. Um, which That's they a steep have. Price. It's a steep price. However, they have a lot of money. Locke has a lot of money. I'm I'm willing to make this happen for the uh, RP that would come out of it. I mean, he's I literally mean... the head of security for Traverse, and he also runs a gun shop, and he's also would be able to call in some favors in Ryu for this if he needed to. Sure. I think but he if can he's afford pulling, it. Uh... If he's pulling Traverse funds, that's gonna cause their stock value to well, start. Suffering. It wouldn't be Traverse. Well, I don't think it's Traverse funds. It's just he gets a Traverse salary as head of security. That's High Corp. True. I mean, but, we can uh, we can. Okay, we'll you know, tell you what. What if we knock a, his snot? What if we? A, we'll talk. We'll talk about it. What if? Yeah, we, we'll talk. We'll I talk. know. Well, but I'm thinking what we could do is if we really want to, we can knock his lifestyle down a tick. We could. That's one way to go about it, but we'll talk about it. Um, additionally, um, all right, go into the NPC room because I don't want an, an I don't want a PC yeah, to hear this by accident. The room. <clears throat> all right, all right. Take it quick. Uh, additional, yeah. So additionally, um, various things happened with Ariana, and mm -hmm. they. Oh, 
Oh, you, uh, you went invisible. Um, and what we discussed, basically, uh, they had their brain scanned with a high enough roll. They were able to discover uh, uh, what they... Basically, um, who is the person that is, like, married to Ariana's character? Right. Marceline, I think? Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, so they they used to be a cybernetics implant specialist um, at... Uh, one of the corps, and okay. I rolled, and with a fifth, and with a fourteen plus one from their mechanical two, mm. um, I was able to give them the fact that in, at their time there they had heard about something called a personifix, and they don't know what it does. They don't know anything about it other than it's something that goes in the brain, and they're pretty sure that's what's inside of uh, Ari's like Ari's character's head. Okay, sounds good. Uh, you go to bring us. I'll go to Callista. Understood. Hello. I'm, uh, this uh, form already. They are extra camera. I believe so anyway. Oh, but but extra package. Yeah, they were oh, I see. Well, well if they were to. That one. Yeah, go ahead. Give it to him. That's what it's used for. It's for. Nope. Yeah. That is safety another reasons. Another order Ulm has pending. Okay. I will return that to her. She's also looking for you, and she is next door. Thank <sighs> you. Uh, well, yeah, I shouldn't keep doing this I guess hey, it's Frenchy, their what's fault. Up? You needed me? Uh, Checking if there's anything super fun. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, okay. change of plans with who I'm escorting. We're doing one meeting, and then we're coming down. Okay. I think oh, also Fred. someone in here was trying to tell me something, and I had to tell them 10 Hello. minutes. Well, That's always is, good are they still here? What were the exa- What were the details that of your major worse. again? I'm gonna pull it up on the admin gun. It's not coming up in front of me. Oh yeah, that. I don't know what the hell's over that. I should have had all the documents in. Hey, I am like okay. TLDR, and I am gonna try and take. Yeah, I'm trying like to figure out what's up. A forty-five. Just break, like um. I can't get it. Dude, my front, my brain's being retrofitted. Back. They aren't <laughs> Sorry. made for me. <laughs> Prone to short you. circuiting if I do not get a diagnostic shock check every day. Did I miss uh, something? And if I don't get a check, I will uh, uh, I will incur permanent damage. Just uh, one of our extras so, taking a break. Oh yeah, by all means. I don't think I don't know. It's. Uh, uh, I don't think this door's open. No, it closed yeah, for me. That's where I thought. <laughs> all right. Uh, I will roll a diagnostic check. Ah, sorry. Not you. Um. That's a. That's a seven. Oh boy. Uh, so, you know, Fred. You know, he's a he's a he's a sturdy boy. You know, he's built he's built get tough as they like to say. But uh, a few of his servos, they're um, they're they're gyrating in ways they shouldn't be. Wow. I think I got hit some by something in the wasteland. Oh dear. Uh, what would it need? What would I need to repair it? Because we did grab scrap and um, other things. I mean, I think you should be able to do it just with your Mechanica skill. Uh, you know, you gotta take some elbow grease. Yeah, right, Fred. Gotta open you up for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Care, it's them. the sensor on their apartment. What's your name again? Just call me Scorch. Scorch. That's right, Scorch. Thank you. There's some wastelanders in the dirty nine. Let's go. To the bank. A bunch of wastelanders came up to the room. I'm looking for Selena. 
Lena, I don't know if they're down there. Hey, can I make them back? Which one was it? Just a regular old pistol? Yeah, it's the small one, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna ask oh, if I can oh, take one. Small. No, you there we can't. go. You okay. can't Thank you. Yeah. They belong to people. They, they belong to people. Let's go. Come on. They belong to people. You can't just like, take yes. yes. You're supposed to put your weapons on the wall. Anyway, yeah. Well, you know, I'm just that I had like enough courage. Dude, you need to go get your eyes. Yeah. To be like, yeah, I left one up there. Oh, one sec, my eyes are oh, settling. Shoot me, my eyes Sarah. are settling. One sec. Uh, oh, oh. Light levels, I'm not used to nice. it. Where is Odd taking the three cactus the children? Water, it's giving me a headache. Holy fuck. Not there's a lot of cactus people in the wasteland. I think there's actually like four or five. I'm Encore. Oh, hey, Encore. Are you a mercenary title or uh, your real name, real designation? Casa unit designation. The name's classified. Hey, let's just get this over with. Big and sure. Hello? Mm -hmm. Hello? 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 Third man be at the bank. Are you filling up your canteen? Okay. Maybe. Are you taking my water? I'm using my hand. <laughs> Two of these cacti grow from the broken off pieces of the third cactus? Yeah, I remember. That's why they look so similar, because they're literally, like, parts of the same cactus that grew into their own cactus people. Why is there three cactus? Because there was one cactus, and then they put their arms in the dirt, and then two other cactus grew out. They came from the wasteland. It's an old well, She's saving battery put power. Put stickers on your phone. Having a bright room. put stickers. Okay, Those are some don't. pretty good stickers. Uh, do you look tired? You look tired like a tired old man. <laughs> it's so true. We've been up here for an hour waiting for this place to open. He's so tuckered out. He's so tuckered out. <laughs> it's okay to be tuckered out around this time. Okay. We still need to go to the Undercity, so... Okay, that's good. Sounds yeah. mm -hmm. like things are going great for Odd. Oh, he ran away. Okay, someone close to the gap, a little too closely than you desire. I'm left with a plasma projecting spear for now, but I'll see about the hard life. Definitely something to keep in mind, though, is that when you get this kind of. It's, uh, fuel. Something private. Why not my apartment? I have something for you. Three whole huge um, boys in an alley. I kept this up in that guy because it's good a, a boon sometimes for my uh, my minor AI. Well, he's not. He's not cutting. Okay. Are we not in line? Sorry. He pre-ordered his spot. I'll be back for you. Um. <laughs> um. Alright, you get his turn. Hello? Jimothy. Um, Jimothy, Jimothy, please do not. Breathe. We just got here. We just got here. <laughs> Jimothy, please. Are you okay? Just You're an alien. Hey, can you... Can you... Uh, 
Nightmare, 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 nightmare. <laughs> Jimothy's having a freak out where meanwhile odds like we've been here for an hour waiting for the bank to open. Hey, look, it's me. Jimmy, look, it's me. It's me, Shiloh. Turn around, look, 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 look. look. Have him stick his hand right there. Hey, man, get up. Come on, for me, Kimchi. The meeting is done, and... They just discussed about um, jurisdiction. I'll talk, I'll talk to you in uh, spawn room. We don't need to cloud. Got it. He's Jimothy's going down, man. He's not he's not doing well. Jimmy's hyperventilating. Uh, can you can you show me where to go? I don't know who he is. You have to show me where. Uh, it's the dude behind the camera. Yeah, Does anyone have clearance to get past those doors? I would do no such as that. Can one of you behind me? Can I have a door for the medic? Okay. Can one of you please let me in? Yeah, you could have just walked through. I didn't know. I don't know if my stuff is half clearance. Oh, yeah, I just kind of had to get in. Are you okay? Alright, right, let's make a medical check. Jimothy? We met earlier today, remember? Dr. Pulse. Okay, look at me. What happened? What's got you in such a state? Breathe. Breathe. Jimothy, look at me. Jimothy, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Eyes on me. Nowhere else for a moment, alright? Breathe. One second. Um, talking to somebody. DMs, just wanted to let you know, um, Major Detriment is currently active, um, people are probably gonna ask what the fuck's going on, and, uh, she's not gonna remember anything, so you might need to be ready. Eyes on me. Understood. Mm -hmm. Drag me. Thank you, Ari. Okay. So, this man startled you, yes? Yes! Okay, cool. Okay. Is he still here? Uh, no need to pry any further. Look around you. Is he still here? He's gone. He left. He's gone. He pressed. He's elsewhere. Okay. She was just like, I know. Yeah, well, you're fine. What's with all these identical twins? Well, the in season two, there was one cactus, and then they they sort of reproduced themselves into three cactuses, so now there's three cactuses. <laughs> yeah, you know, by budding like a plant. The guy he slapped him last time came in and threatened him, and he started freaking out. All right, let's see where, uh, where are you? Anyways, I'll leave you two to your, uh, business. It was lovely to meet you, Marceline, Maya. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I see. This would be why yeah, their major de <laughs> detriment is accurate, Let me active. Know if anybody gives you any the persona fix. <laughs> Feel like coming to the upper city. The Persona Fix, well, aka Trident's corporate brainwashing. Have a fantastic day. A moment before you go, and I will uh, be back inside.
I think we clearly sent the message we were attempting to. So, feel free to uh, go about your day. I found a Very well. Let me know if you need anything. But I suppose... Oh. Hello, but I suppose that I am free. Absolutely. Oh god, is he gonna go to Glad the to bank? The <laughs> bank's about to be on fire! Expecting my... Expecting my, uh... Boss to come dropping in. I didn't exactly have yeah. to say wasn't expecting them to take blood. What? Look at your wrist. Oh. Look at mine. Oh, uh. So you remember that meeting that we sat in on earlier, chat? Really where, uh, Mr. Reynolds medicine. said that Masaru could Fucking take medicine. Maya's blood and have it on hand in case they needed to locate her? Because she's a dangerous asset now that the persona fix oh, has nice. failed. That happened. I'm happy. <laughs> At all. I'm actually pissed. No! No, you don't remember that? Okay, never mind. Never mind, chat. <laughs> never mind. Forget I said anything. Then. I understand working. <laughs> I'm just trying to explain what's going on to make things more watchable to the viewer, but you know. I just need one ID for my daughter Anuki. Yeah, there are three of them. Yeah, so, um, there's, um, okay. Uh, I'm going to need you to, uh, scan, uh, scan your hand on the, the body scanner there. Can you do that? Okay, this, yeah, this one right here? Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 that one. Okay, uh, yeah. So, uh, yep, yeah, okay, that should be good. Um, alright. So, um, um, okay, uh, uh, -oh. sorry, I, I'm just, uh, yeah, okay, uh, there's, uh, uh, there's, uh, are you gonna sit here and judge my family life, or are you gonna help me, because my family life, of course we're gonna help you, you want to talk to you all, can, can, can you, uh, can you do the, uh, there, there, there's a cap. Uh, there's there's going to be a bunch of. Uh, there's going to be. Uh, there's going to be pictures of cars. Can you, can you, can you, can you please press all the pictures that have cars on them? Uh, okay. Just, yeah, I just. <laughs> that's a car. A little bad with technology. That's a car. How do you want to select them? That's not a, that's not a yeah, car. That's a car. That's a car. I'm selecting. That's a car. That's a car. That's a car. That's a train. Shut up. Don't look at it, okay? Find your own thing. Okay, I'm, I'm done. Let me, let me hit. I like this bit. I'm not here. Someone's saying it. What the fuck is taking so long? She okay, the uh, card. The pad. okay. All right. Uh, we'll help you out. She's got a train. Okay, can you, can you, can you well, step away so the camera can uh, take a photo of your face? Oh my okay. god. Uh, okay. You know what? Okay, and uh, uh, maybe, maybe another yeah, day. Yeah, okay, there. Let me just double check and make sure that my uh, okay, yeah, right. husband I'm actually sent so in. Oh, okay. I'm going to. <laughs> I <laughs> like that they have you have to do a fucking capture at the bank to get your ID registered. I'm getting married into the family. Just got here, but I love Mr. Dragon. Oh, dude, he's great. He's a big boy. Mars a big coronation. Congratulations. Well, maybe you can pass your your invitation to someone else. Nah, I think I'll keep it. <laughs> Just to show off. <laughs> like, uh, I got an invitation to Cleo's wedding. How do you like it? Name? It's like a flash. You know how like Why you in A? Yeah. Why you in A? We got a line. That's Jim and Dina. 
is um yeah. what question is medic ID. Look at my ID. I'm trying to get the ID. Good. Boy. We're getting Cal anytime soon. Here, uh, the I need to get a model made. I need to get a model made. Uh, hey. So that thing I just told you about. Yeah. Yep. I, yeah. I I got. I, sorry for I'm, I'm uh, listening. They uh, <laughs> they're pushing the subject on it. Yep. They pointing are. out things. <laughs> you want to roll? Do. Do whatever I don't you think want. this would be a thing that you could really roll for. Well, I'm just rolling for severity. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Tell me what okay. happens. Right. That's right. what we did last. Yeah, I mean, that's what we did severity. last time. So. Yeah, but but it's not like you know, there's not like info Sorry. they could find really. Oh, it's not about that. It's more of a, it's, yeah. it's. It's how a side it effect. Force is a reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. That was the reset button. Whoops. Yeah. Here we go. Please. With an 11, headaches coming back. It's not nearly as bad as it was. Maybe it's the medicine wearing off, but it's something. Maybe you just need to lie down. I'm not going to have the problem with lights or sounds anymore, though. It's really just a headache. Understood. Over here. What do androids think about having uh, <laughs> to do captions at the bank when they themselves are part robot? See, that's why they get the special ID, because they can't do the are you a robot check oh, mark. I saw that guy. Uh, he's, 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 your, he's your ID. Um, uh, right. Got a Trident officer in apartment. Uh, an apartment but might also be, you know. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's him. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. I mean, I think that's him. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not positive. Well, I didn't really see that group a lot. I mean, you should have the same sort of. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, yes. Is it's it canon since you can't do captures? I mean, you know, there's a checkbox that says click if you're not a robot, and you have to click it. Come here. Get up. Come here. Come here. Very sorry about that one, sir. <laughs> so you want to make it a Yes. Uh, yeah. It, we'll work on them later. Uh, so, uh, if you can scan your ID real quick. What is it about your leaders getting killed and subsequently being taken over? And how much would you like to deposit today? I'm surprised I made it this far. 15,000 credits. 15,000 credits. Alright, and if you could just do a little scan real quick. Alright, that seems to be good. Alright. And that should be good. Is that all? I'm being contacted. Um, yes, that should be everything. It seems to have gone into your system. Well, so... Excellent. Do you need else? <laughs> Even magic can't soothe his brain. Have a wonderful day. Next. Hi, uh, I just wanted to make sure... I'm gonna get rid of this sensor. Where is it? I can't find it. Yeah, uh, so credits are, uh, credits are, credits are yen, essentially. A credit is a penny. A hundred credits is a dollar. The 15,000 credits is basically a hundred fifty dollars. So he tortured Jimothy's mortal soul over a hundred fifty dollars. Thank you. Well, you have a wonderful day. 
listening. I don't think he's here. No. Absolutely Good not. Good luck with him. Uh, While you're here, he has to get through me to get to you. Hold on, we need to have a serious discussion. <sighs> that guy's not allowed here anymore. What the, what the punch, hell? Punch. What the hell happened? Can I kill? <laughs> You'll be fine. This is a safe, this is a safe zone for you. What happened? There's security Timothy, everywhere. Why did you not let us know first thing today you were assaulted yesterday? Why do we have to find that from other people? I, I, um, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get. Um, <laughs> I like that. I like that. Uh, that from uh from wrench over there. I I, really, I like that from wrench. Is like, Jimothy, I'm here for you. This is your safe space. I gotta go. Someone else needs me. <laughs> something was getting me something for my voice and took me to the so quinn goaded you into this and then you enter some weird weird altercation with this dragon guy and then he assaulted uh, you yeah yeah well, we already just we already discussed the terms of their employment coming to an end so nothing we can do about that now So what are we gonna do about this dragon individual? Is Jimothy a player or a DM? Promise. That's a player. I don't care what reason he hit you Watch, for. Look, look, character info. Well, I, don't, I don't really care uh, what happened after Masari took over well, the Undercity. Well, you don't take any of those kinds of fucking people, people coming really, up. Yeah. He's a young adult from a middle class background who's recently flown the nest for the first time, but ended up in the row. Now he's settled and has to find his way in the world without getting murdered horribly and violently. His family is from the middle city, and he loves them dearly. <laughs> This is the best RP here. I I stand Jimothy. We'll deal with that. For now, get get the kid something to eat. The bank's done for now. Alright. Come on. We're out. We'll go do something nice. Jimmy, I need to give you one more task as well. Yeah. Wait, did his team say personality a whim? And you, you send it to me. It did. Okay. okay we'll do a little <laughs> pen pal system, but I'll never write back. He wrote that, by the way. I, I want you to know, like he wrote that. <laughs> like, that's that's his sheet that he he wrote. <laughs> no one wrote that for him. He chose to be this gonna, character. We're not going to haggle you for this further, but you need to understand that I feel like I should have been told you're beat up by a dragon. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a jerk about it. I love I love Booza so much. <laughs> you should have told me you were beat up by a dragon. I mean, no. I mean, they like pretty much majority of them already knew about it. They they followed me. No, all the issues that we didn't know, and that was quite embarrassing, Jimothy. Everyone I was saying that dream. Watched me as Quinn dragged me past the clinic into the Undercity. You're missing the point. Come on out. Inform us. That's what we're saying. Communication is key. I feel like you should have communicated that. <laughs> You're not in trouble. I did. I did forget about that. Right, that's I did forget about that. That that when Jimothy got bitch slapped by Cornelius in the Jade Tea House, he was dragged. All the way up the row, all the way up this ramp, past this clinic, which was open, and then down the tunnel into the Undercity to their clinic. Oh, he sounds like some target practice going on in the arena. What you want to do, Mr. Bernard? 
focus on one target for now. Get used to that. Then you can move on to yeah. a different target. Sure, yeah, yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. You know, it's nice that the arena has turned into, like, a target practice, like, combat training. But I miss the gladiatorial fights. See, and what did I say? Warren's right there. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, look at him. Mm. Hello. You uh, ever good All right. Hey. Yeah, I'm good. You called it, Warren. We need a good, uh, we need a good, we need a good gladiatorial fight to happen in this arena. I would want the fuck, you're hunting sandworms? What the fuck? If you show up, might as well. What the fuck? Dude! It's for his, uh, look at this. What, Elwin's going to hunt for the sandworms? Why is everybody raising death flags today? You, there's more and more people just raising death plays by saying that. <laughs> oh, man, I that's just gonna that's go for a I'm not on you today. Titus. Hi. There you go. Hey. Thank you. Alright. Ready to lose a bet? I think it's about time we should check in on the cards. I am. Oh, you're gonna hit with that Oh, hey, no, we can I'm ready to win. I got my revolver back. I mean, that's their fault for flying too low. Yeah, that's true. I, I agree with that. Yeah, 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 Sorry, where was the band-aid in the upper city? That was a good fight. True. You know what? We should get some synthetics down here. A good old-fashioned robot fight. It's what the people love. Also, I like this dude's design a lot. This Wyvern's guy. I like his design a lot. You first? I like his like armor and his jumpsuit. I like his robot arm. Hey Sai, you there? You got a second? Yeah, I got time. All right, uh, just this should be quick. Uh, do you know who gave Bertram the information that the, he gave the wyverns on paper? Um, about, about sorry, about Proteus, Tosha. Because uh, apparently there was information the wyverns gave him, but it was only written on paper. Wondering. I remember seeing that in RP session notes, but I don't remember this. I will look in the session notes. Thank you. Someone, someone said apparently Leroy might have passed off that information, so try asking him. I will see if I can find it first before breaking character. Thanks. Yeah. That sounds like it might be right, though. Thank you, Sai. Hello. Uh, I need to steal an extra from the row for like two minutes. Please. What for? Uh, to make sure that things are functional. I don't know if you ran into Understood. Uh, if, if somebody can um, hop down to tech support. Um, Good luck. I'll, yeah. Whoever, whoever. Yeah. Uh, uh, Major, yeah. you want to do that? 
Uh, Opt out into tech support real quick. Uh, sh sure, I could do that. Where am I going? Uh, for now, just go into tech support. I'll explain when we get there. Okay. The, uh, it's a Discord channel here. Yeah. All right. Thank you. You're gonna pay with you got interest. So. Oh, I hate this human to all conversion rate. Everything costs more. I actually I think it is time to be a check on the traffic. Oh my, Last look at the traffic. The it's cleared right up. Yes. There's rules in place. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 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 Go very, very quickly. Yes. Yes. We just got a ping very, sure. very quickly. Oh, fuck it. Ah, oh, oh, well, get it back. <laughs> well, it, guess what? It, it's it, 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 it's the it. time to go before it's Give it back. Oh, I don't know. Oh, someone else steals my car. Is that your mad motion to Harry? Shit. Yeah, we really are. Have any of you seen Quinn? No, Quinn. No. 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 Gave him a gun, gave him some ammo, and told him, hey, next time you come. DM is present, what's up? Would you like to sit? Uh, you know what, yeah. Thanks. The couches are a more comfortable option. Well, so it is. Right. What is these cartoon pieces of meat? I think they killed a sandworm. Who's in the darkness? Is that fishbowl? No, that's someone else. Oh, that's Maya using an invisibility spell. Hello. Greetings. How much do I make with a class three living or lifestyle? Uh. <laughs> What's going on? How much do you make with a with a class three lifestyle? That's uh, is that medium or high? I think that's medium. I'll I'll grab a sheet. I think. Well, I think three is. I mean, I could just check here. I think I'm just trying to figure out, sir. Mm. I wanted to send a deposit as good faith to Proteus, since I know his <laughs> routing information. Mm -hmm. And I uh, wanted to know how much <laughs> viable credits I had to do so. I didn't say I said something ridiculous. Says you have a... Okay, so three is medium. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, like... You know, like a one-time deposit to like get someone started. I think that's something you could afford, especially since you have a uh, yeah. reunion assets you could pull from. How and much your we uh, your Traverse salary. Um, I say a Seriously, good baseline, maybe or... uh, okay. as like a just like credit injection for someone new on the block, maybe thirty thousand. Sure, and that's what I'll do. Thirty thousand. Okay, okay. All right. Sounds good. Tracking. Thank you. Can you please um, yeah. notify that that would happen, right? Yes, I'm going to go ping him about it right now. One step ahead of me. Maybe I can help. It's like giving, giving someone a new three, $300, well, you know? If anyone's earned a nice moment, it's you, though, eh? kickback. You guys need any extras? Rachel is going to go start her. It always use more. Want to help her finish it after. If you would like to Alrighty, see join off you. Yep, come on in. Cool. And you have one job after a year and you don't It's a pretty valid deposit. 
You know, like, hey, I'm the new guy on the block. Hey, I'm gonna help you get started. Here's three hundred dollars in your bank account. Under there, grab whatever one you want. Yeah. Some basic shit. Did you get one of those forms? Under city people coming up. Hey chat, this is my favorite part of the map. You want to know why? Now you might not think that this parking lot has anything special of it that would make it my favorite part of the map, but if you turn around... <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Thought I'd share that with you. So not the parts with the cipher graffiti? Nah. No, that would be too too ego of me. Hmm? What if when the bar was closed, this sign here was off? Uh, that could work. Um, but we already commissioned we already commissioned a um open sign for Marceline, so we should get that probably oh, by tomorrow. Oh, never disregard. Yo. I just want to make sure that one guy didn't like mess with any of the equipment. The guy who was here in the bar for a while. Uh, which guy? Do you know who specifically? Uh, the pretty boy. I mean, I was just saying, if he, call. I did, I was if he didn't if he ping didn't, a DM, the anything. answer's probably yeah. no. Yeah. Okay. Where? Okay. Where did, okay. Where'd that guy go? That's it, chat. Ruins your out of bound speed. No out of bound speed run. Boom, boom. Uh oh. Uh oh, we're out of bounds. <laughs> yeah, I'm back if you need anything, me to do anything else with, for an extra major. Sounds good. You can just uh, go back to what you were doing for now. Okay. Are you going to play an NPC for a while? I think I will. I think I will. Guard. It could be a corporate guy. Or it could just be a slummer. Is that a crash? Could be Corpo Borpo. Oh, fuck it. We'll go standard slummer, actually. We'll go standard slummer. Oh, I'm still the crack goblin. The 
traveling merchant. <laughs> I, I don't mind doing that. That seems like it could be fun. My back logo is set to right now. I love Gab Cubes. Sell pirated movies? Wait, that's a great idea. <laughs> That's a. <laughs> Wait, that's a great idea. Hi, thank you, Junior Joe, for gifting that sub. Hi, I'm getting ready to go into the. Senpai uh... underscore Gig just subscribed. Junior Joe 2000 V2 gifted a tier 1 sub to Senpai underscore Gig. They have given 87 gift subs in the channel. Hmm, need to think of a voice. Wait, let me get a gun. I <laughs> get that. Guns. Shotgun. I'm going to wait here until someone comes up and then I'm going to try to sell them pirated movies. I got unencrypted hollow films disconnected from the network real preem shit. You know what I'm saying? You're going to want to buy my product. Just waiting here over here at the terminal waiting for people to walk on by. I'm the kind of guy who would download a movie.
You know what? I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna stay here. Arms crossed. I'm gonna wait for someone to approach me. Need to see if I can. I have to go answer that. Four, five, nine, ten. I should go answer that. <laughs> Hi. Hey, DM here, what are we doing? I'm looking for, for Mr. Kim. She's running this module for me. He, uh, mm. he has information on camera stuff. It's one size, right? Oh, there he is. Hey. You need a thing? All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh. I'm gonna go back to selling pirated movies. for the goods what got the real primo stuff unencrypted you know what I'm saying no I don't know what you're saying describe it for me I got Terminator In 2 detail. on hollow disc hey yo what yeah off the Trident Networks. They don't want you to see what's in this. But it's a classic. That is, uh, fun. Okay, I, I don't believe you. Because that's an old-ass movie. Well, you and how know, do you have that? I mean, they rebooted it a couple times, you know? Uh, and which one is it? Is it the reboot or is it the, the classic? I think it's it's the the prequel to the reboot universe's alternate timeline of the original director's cut theatrical version of the movie. So it's not even the classic one. I mean, this is a classic in its own right. You know, they, they always say, you know, you go, you gotta watch this cut. This is the best cut. It's got all the expanded universe tie-ins, you know, the cinematic universes. Those were all the rage back then. But yeah, you got me all excited for a they shitty got, They got it bit. redubbed by that one guy Fucking and they prequel. resubtitled it. It's disgusting. It doesn't even match the lips when he talks. The tonal voice changes that he does. It's so authentic. Do Why are you this trying is to history. Sell me? This is not authentic. This is disgusting. You know how many you piles got, of scrap tapes I had to go through to find this? Or maybe you should have went harder and dug deeper. You got me excited yeah. for trash. You wouldn't know a good movie if it bit you in the ass! You wouldn't be able to sell a good movie if you even had one, but you don't! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go throw this in the scrapyard. <laughs>
gotta go, gotta go throw this in the scrapyard. <laughs> Someone else will find it and treasure it for the, for the, <laughs> the gem that it is. Stupid bootleg reboot movie. Gah! Why is the scrapyard gurgling? The scrap! It it gurgles! I'm gonna go touch one. I, I'm gonna go touch one. Harvest, gathering two or mechanic or two. Oh yeah, really get in there. Oh, here we go. Oh, jeez. I think this is like some kind of Fluid. Get out of here, fluid. Eh. I'll scrap in the scrapyard. Try me. I've got hands now. When I want them. Don't mind me, I'm just throwing out some old shitty ass movie tape that isn't worth anything. Oh Jesus! Yep. Oh I didn't even see Sorry, you. Man. I got a face full of man chest. It was it's kinda nice. Guide them to it, let it become part of their plot? I simply cannot. I'm just trying to sell bootleg movies out the back of the scrapyard because they keep dumping their old tapes here. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this shotgun here. That's just gonna be a shotgun there for anybody if anybody comes back here. Free shotgun. Anyway. I'm gonna go oh, I'm gonna go into the sewer. I'm gonna go into the yeah, I'm I'm in the trash chute. The trash chute was was sealed. Anyway, I'm in the dumpster. This is made like this. The core's a little trash. Hey, Cypher, did you uh, do something with Bringus? Like he pulled a spirit and, and he was hovering around. Yeah, that was, that was that was Damien. Yeah, that was Damien. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did any of the NPCs I mean, in here drop off a videotape that is quote unquote? Oh. Oh. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> what was it? Here, I'll teleport. All right. Yeah, because he's trying to figure out. Yeah. Go get Chow. I'll see you later. So. <laughs> Let me tell you about this videotape, all right? Sure. It's the sequel to the prequel universe of the third reboot to the Terminator franchise. But it's also over been dubbed by new actors in, t in 17 different languages. 
And also, there's been new CGI characters added to expand the plot into a cinematic universe. Because those were all the rage back then. Cypher, what the fuck is wrong with you? I see. This is a surprise tool that'll I help wanted us later. To sell, I wanted to sell bootleg movies. I... I... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> and then, uh, Shango told me my movie wasn't worth shit, so I threw it in the scrapyard. Cracking, I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's like the E.T. Atari cartridge. Oh god, I forgot about that. Well, Earth is technically in this galaxy, chat. Well, no, not in this galaxy, but another galaxy. Earth is in this universe, I believe, or at least a version of it. Little sci-fi NPC shenanigans. So bad it's a free crash system card. It might be, honestly. I think that'd be very funny. If we make the fucking bootleg holotape a, a system crash to any media server. It's funny is that you just threw it away. He found it in like two minutes. Yeah, I literally bumped into him on the way out from throwing it away. Pretty good. They're pretty dang good. Who's that guy? Can that character before? Ross. An old Shimetsu prototype. Oh, he's a synth. That chat. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, there was a broadcast of a movie called Terminator. Yeah? Eventually. Banana. Hey. Oh, <laughs> So I'm gonna run through the footage, make sure it is what it says on the box. Yeah, it's a it's then, a bootleg of a two two thousand year old movie. <laughs> this is great. I am going to <laughs> I'm gonna make a local recording for myself. All right. What's happening? Oh, oh he's the copying video. The, he's, you got it. You got it. Co okay. Copying the bootleg movie. <laughs> I'm making a module out of this. I hope you realize. <laughs> I hope you realize I'm making something out of this too. Oh no, I know. I'm I'm gonna be tracking all of this. Yo. DM is present. Hello. Uh Hello. I found this and also I found that. If I'm gonna take that, am I gonna blow up? Well Wait, this was the movie tape. <laughs> well just despawn it, just give it to him. I don't know. Okay, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ignore <laughs> ignore the man who's very concerned about the movie. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, so that bottle itself is the crafting material. So that's full. That thing over there, well, you could certainly try and harvest it. Okay. Well, whether what or not you whether or not you I don't even know what this is. It is petroleum. a crafting material. It's petroleum. Yeah. Oh, so um, I'll, 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 okay. That that's over there, you. you could harvest it. Maybe. Yeah, try. I literally just found this on the ground, so I was like, oh, yoink. Yeah, I was scrounging oh, yeah. it up while I was it. digging through the scrapyard. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, are you uh, doing anything with that or no? Living my trance life. I uh, have I'm the petroleum. Keep it. <laughs> so, I mean, are you with the other, with the liquid thing? Because I know you said nah. you were going to try and get it. No? All right. Nah, nah, nah. Gathering two or Mechanica, too. Yes. Otherwise, you got to roll. Either. Yeah, I mean, you can always roll to try, but you'd need a really high. Yeah, I guess 
I just need to have a talk with someone. So I'm just waiting until they talk come to me. With someone. Yes, yes. Uh, the man that you were talking about, with, actually. Ah, I see. Mr. Cyrus. He seems to be making me connections older. Very yes. interesting. Um, a man out of... Man of... How do I explain it? The aura he gives off. If you believe in a thing called aura, we all have them. That are yes, I know what you're magical in nature. It's more so. It's what you can tell about a person. Their taint, if you will, for lack of a better word. Their, <laughs> their presence. The command they leave on the world. Stern, yes. structured, though. A man like that can I go see. very far. Oh. True. Are we gonna rob it? Exactly. While we're there, we can make a stop in the vault. Hmm. Lead the way. It should be open. Excuse me. Allergies. You have allergies in a respirator. I know. It's a terrible thing. That's the nice part about breathing the fluorocarbon. You don't actually get that. Session is moving. All canned garbage versions. It's very sticky substance. It's also hot. It's hot. Ah, why? Story. Why you give this to me? No, it's huh. not hot. It's. I was just saying if the substance inside is hot. Oh well, I don't know. It's a metal container. That's what, that's what I assume. The for. That's what the bands are for. So you can carry it. That's why I'm also carrying. I, with the, the tip, I think. I, I, I Actually, it might be hot. Can it in his it. armor or in his suit right now? That's an excellent question. Also, I found out it's end user. Thank you. Well, oppressed. If anything is probably seen. When we start this up, do you want me to ask him? I said if Shimetsu would be willing to help free those people from Masaru's clothes. Um. Let's be honest. Yeah. All right. Of course, Shimetsu's greatest enemy is that of magic. There's a big, big fucking line between magic and technology, and I think they're a little threatened by it. I think they don't like Masao very much as it is. So, we can use I'll try to do my best. Yeah. Push things along. I don't know what the fuck they do up top, but that's not my concern. It won't be Tr Trey's back. Yeah, what's up? So we are. Uh, this. Uh, uh, this process very uh, IRL. Lint apparently goes to a bloody GU hangar. There's a possibility there's an old forgotten ship that's far off the radar in there. Something that would allow for our own research. It's just... He's always yeah. one second They're ahead of me. You. They don't I don't even like know what that ping clean. says. The credentials on that ship are probably still good. Yeah. He's just one always second. just one second quicker than well, I'm me. going to need help getting in. I'm going to need tools. Which, there's you know what, I, I'll say, props to Kimchi. Props to Kimchi. Mm. He's, he's actually... Well, Ren running himself hard, making all these storylines for all these different characters. Shit, I might be able to get my hands on some explosives. Credit where it's due. Be He's been loud. doing great. No, no explosives. I Gotta step up your game? Hey, well, listen, once the but big cross map stories get hand. going, a lot of fucking my game shall indeed be escalated. 
and that's what we Yeah, Kimchi, if you're going to ask, um, he's about to depart. Run. All right, coming over. Really? Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Uh, oh, well. Does Shimatsu have their hands in the clinic now? From what I understand, it looks like they're in charge of security for Avalon. Uh, you know what? If that's the case... Remember that old shit we had to deal with not too long ago with me and Avalon? Yes. I bet you, I noticed that those people aren't part of their group anymore. They're not walking around the upper city anymore. They probably got fired or removed. That may be a good opportunity for me to get my toes back in that fun. I think they'll Give take you back. Worth a shot. Cypher, I can handle this if you can just what handle the pings, because there's something here I might need to DM based on how yeah, it goes. I'll handle the pings. Thank you. <clears throat> we can't afford mistakes anymore. No. But we sure as hell have the tools to clean them up. I'll let you know, I keep trying to answer the pings, but you're one second faster than me. <laughs> Uh -huh. right. Fastest hand in the West. <laughs> get do. good. <laughs> get Thank you, Cypher. Yeah. You get to them. Well, uh, oh, yeah. Very quick question, Bronze DM. Note uh, is. The Sierra Papa AI in your helmet or suit? It's either in the suit or he keeps it if he's not wearing it. Very well. Thank you. Well, I'd back to the surface, boss. Keep my eyes out. Yeah. Let's see if we can get you some equipment upgrades here in the near future, right? Uh, we'll work on it. Just treat me nice right now. Very well. Do -do -do -do. Greetings, end user. I am Prodigy. Good to see you again, Prodigy. It is good to see you, too, end user. My activity has been in a lull. Do you wish me to be more active now? I would say so, yes. I'm going to need a lot of help in the coming... Hi, Nexus. What we got? Hey, yo, what up? So, just for people purposes, I'm letting know that I'm putting a order from Geb for churros. And a chair to sell. Okay. Just churros for the and next a chair. session. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell rivet churros for his. What the fuck he's doing? And Jeremy a chair. All right. Yeah. I'll, I'll, just I'll remember that next session. Yeah. Does he bring back your fucking churro gun? I swear. <laughs> churro gun? <laughs> My man said churro gun. Seems to be bad blood between... Oh, the churro vacuum! It blows and sucks churros! I want to take advantage of that. <laughs> what I need to do is find out as much intel on the current occupation of this uh, undercity. Trying to figure out what it is that Masaru is planning. Uh, there, How many troops they have there at any given time. Perhaps what kind of supply lines they have. I'll need a DM anything roll for a scan on the Undercity by this AI. I am looking for literally anything to break this stranglehold. I can do it for a uh, kimchi gun. Understood. Scan. I got it. Please stand by. That's a six. That's unfortunate. I would have said like T50. Yeah, that's what I was going to go Probably with. Probably basic info then. Yeah. Unfortunately, end user, the Undercity's network is nearly inaccessible. Shit. I might have a better chance if you get me into a closer proximity. Very 
very well. I'd say this then would work to DC 12. To I need to make contact with someone down there anyway. Yep. Understood. End user, have you secured Sierra Papa? But it's still in the same place you suggested. I will be moving it as soon as we have our base of operations up and running. Understood. Is there anything else you require, end user? I have a dangerous question that I do not want you to scan for if you think it is too much of a risk. I am listening. Is Reynolds still on planet? Scanning. Please stand by. Go ahead and uh, give me another roll for this one. He wants to know if Reynolds uh, is still on planet, dude. Fucking, I, well, I feel like a galactic CEO being on planet, he'd be very public about it. Fucking okay. three. But I feel like I feel like I think size right. This is this is pretty public knowledge. It'd be public. Oh, info. okay, then yeah. It, it's a galactic CEO being <laughs> on planet. I think people would. Gotcha. Query. Okay. Plus, he's Man. the media guy. There is footage of a Mr. Reynolds in the upper city. Investigating stocks. So he is still here. Hey, that wrench fella wants to speak to you. I'm private, apparently. Whenever you're still next, it's not urgent. Second quick query. Wrench fella works for the bank. At least the last time I spoke to him, uh, he used to work as security for Coach the uh, manager of the bank and the mayor of the row. Is there anything that stands out about his file in terms of corporate service or military service? He seems to know who I am. Searching. Please stand by. We know the deal. What do we got? Uh, um, geez, that is Soda, right? That's a... Uh... No, that's uh, Shango. Oh, it's Shango. All right, let me pull that up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he's a. Yep, there it is. He's a he's a wyvern. Pretty sure. No, he, he is was. current. He's now just a slummer. Uh, he served aboard a star class, a starship class ship, destroyed during the war. One of the only few that survived, okay. and he disappeared after the war. Got so it. So he's an ex-union soldier. Ex-union soldier. Got it. Query. Well, ex-union yeah. engineer. Individual is a former Union soldier. Engineer, to be precise, served upon a vessel that was destroyed. Has since been away without leave. Thank you, Prodigy. That will be all. When an Undercity end user under. Hey. Oh, you scared the crap out of me. I'm literally, I was about to head over to the drop in a second. Yep. Can you see the gun on my person? Because it's supposed to be acting as uh, if it's in the backpack now. I see it, kind of, but Alright, that should set him up good. Alright, as long as people wouldn't think it's just open. Thank you, Shinny. Like mm -hmm. My pleasure, man. Anytime. Get rid of this. And I need Ooh wee! Reynolds. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking. So that was so like Cortana. I don't know how to remove that sensor. That's yeah. in Zoe's apartment. <laughs> yeah, I That's noticed a... it. I couldn't remove it either. Fuck. All right, we'll figure that out. Maybe it's a bug. Yeah. So we it's, made a sensor. It's an excellent part of his toolkit. Yeah. What's up? Mm. We made a we made a sensor that would know when someone went into a character's apartment, and we've just been getting pigs from it all day, and we don't know how to remove. Oh no, really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this reminds me of the alarm pinging everyone yeah. and it being like all the mm -hmm. time. Oh wow, yeah, that's fun. <laughs> hey, it's it's technology. Oh, Shit happens. I mean, right? I was up in the upper city for like an hour and so many people backed up into oh. their own alarms. Yo, heard you're selling movies. Can I get like uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, <laughs> but like a Korean dub of it? 
<laughs> I'd like that. That'd be cool. <laughs> I was selling bootleg VHS tapes out of the scrapyard. No lie. I would I would 100% have Reynolds go down to get someone to find a bootleg film at some point. <laughs> I would do that. If you're okay with it, I will 100% make Hell that yeah. a mission. All right, there we go. <laughs> hey, Oblivious. All right, well, speaking of Trident, okay, I have to actually cool. hop into a Trident guard avatar to Ooh, go to a fun. data drop. All right, have fun with that. I think this wraps up everything else. Um, I don't think anybody's waiting for me upstairs. I might throw on Morgan Trident. for a little bit and just go visit the <clears throat> Talar, well, the uh, Masara people. There you go, nuts. <clears throat> Love you, dude. See, See you soon. Let me find the boy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. We've been going three and a half hours, right, chat? Yeah. All right. For the next minute to hit, then I'm going to hit the uh, thing. Let me get a... I'll get my gun first. A lag when that loads in. Guns. Jimetsu pistol. Alright, twelve thirty. Why, hello there. I'll take that. I don't suppose there's anything unusual to report? No, there never is. Well, you keep taking your pretty little pictures, find us any newsworthy stories, and your credit payments will come along just fine. See you tomorrow.
Well. Friendling that actually went smoothly. Yeah, I think it's because she made the deal with a uh, ring us before that drop oh, happened. So much fun! Bring this needed a roll. Oh. Hey, DM. Go read out to yeah. everyone and anyone possible. Present. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm just running a back trail and check. I got his real name, or at least, what was it again? Clayton Brody. Clayton. Yep. Yes, I'm running a background check on that. Well, you would know that is, in fact, his real name. Uh, let's see. I'm going to roll for a full background check. Well, with a seven plus... Well, I'll give your decking skill to it for a nine. You would know that he is definitely associated with the GU, uh, but he does also have that corporate identity that he mentioned. Uh, looks like, specifically the GU, he was doing synthetic engineering. Uh, fortunately, beyond that, and knowing that he served aboard a star class, a starship class ship, uh, you're not really able to find a whole ton. You might be interested to hear this. Everything he says appears to line up, and he uh, served on a uh, what was it? A star class ship in the G. Starship class ship. Starship class ship. He said that he had something to do with a corporate disguise. Which corporation? Shimetsu. Does that line up? As a mercenary named Achilles. That does line up. Yeah, it's in here. Very well, French. Oh, Mr. Brody. You're looking to re enter service, which is interesting. That would put you at great risk. French joining reunion. But I suppose when a man has nothing to live for, I guess he asks himself what he will die for. Do you believe the war is over, French? The war? I don't know. <laughs> Do I want to destroy the corpse though? Yeah. What are your skill sets? Uh. Synthetic engineer, I can. You give me a synthetic, uh, I can. And enough materials so I can repurpose it into a, either a spy or an assassination android, depending. That's what I used to do before I came here. Uh, other than that, basic CQC, depending on the ship. But mostly around synthetics, fucking them up, repurposing them. Repairing them. Real quick. Uh, what immediately comes to mind is um, how fond that Trident synth has gotten of Alma. Yeah. Okay. He's the reason why I'm in Shimetsu. Come on. Revealing myself, though. That's well, a big gamble. Look, you, you just take orders from the man, right? So, uh, you can't it might not be enough for him. He's also saved my life multiple times. He also identified me as Locke, anyway. I'm the way side. Yeah. To me, then. Does the 
talk or uh to ask her, right? I don't know. <laughs> there. I mean <sighs> I'm not taking off mine, I'm uh if you if you have some place private currently you could take me, that would be great. Not able to. So So let me make something very clear. French. Everything that we do here is to destroy the corporate power. Our organization has gotten quite large over the last two years. And they're very proud of it. I won't reveal the extent of this just yet. Sure, you have found me. I guess we will see what happens in the coming days. However, I most certainly have uses for a talented man who hates the corporations as much as the rest of we. And that if something, if that is something you are truly passionate about, I expect you to fall in. What do you do on the road currently? What is your cover? What is your alias? What is it that you do? Uh, wrench. Security for the bank, mostly. I've stopped shadow running ever since, uh, uh... <clears throat> Realize I'm in sick. Which is why I decided to risk it. I no longer have anything in my brain that I'm worrying about. So. I see. Good. Yeah. Then we'll prove yourself over the next few days. There's a lot of things coming up. Something that's going to break the core of power on this planet, and I'm going to need every last able body for it. Can you fight still? Yes. Good. You find out what it is that we can do to get those two synths together. That'll be our first priority. You like playing with synths? I'll give you one that's been a huge pain in our ass. And you can play with it all you like. Tridents, too. Uh, as long as they're not Shimetsu, I should be fine with it. Good. I don't have to worry about Shimetsu. Let me see if I can. It's just a sense. I've been up close to one and it's not, it's not pretty for anyone trying to get into it. Dang, dude. They're gonna get wrenched to fucking... I'm assuming since they're talking about a trident synth, I can't think of many others. I think they're thinking, they're talking about Flounder. Like, almost guarantee. And I can understand why he's been a pain in their ass. Glad to be back. I get you equipped. There's uh something better than the junk you walk around with. Uh, I have uh Do you know about what's happening tomorrow in the Undercity? No. Uh Masaru is um selling it off essentially. Showing it off to all the other corps, splitting it intersections and selling it unions trying to stop them as much as i can but it's not looking good we got to kick things off down there faster than we had planned we already have a cell down there and a couple of corporate allies that may help us disrupt things but if they start divvying it up people will be entirely too separated in order to fight any one power we have to prevent that we must good good intel Right then. Next few days, we'll see how trustworthy you are. Got to be careful in this business. As soon as I'm sure yeah. you're in the green, I have a lot more to show you. Understood? Understood. From now on, if you need to contact myself, you look for these two. Very well done. Grab your kit. In the near future, you'll probably need a code name for the radio so we know who we're speaking to other than Wrench. Think it over when the time comes. Yeah, will do. Everybody here on the same page? Ally, for yeah. now. It's to do something crazy. I don't think they will, though. You got it. Understood. And please do Mr. Brody a favor and escort him out. Enjoy the rest of Will do. Uh, 
What the fuck? was that? Who was that? Take it easy. Oh! <laughs> hey! <laughs> they never look up, huh? You even got the DM with that stealth tactic. His last order was, Come, and they came, all of them, even the dragons. Snapman underscore I underscore am just subscribed. Mechamershi gifted a tier one sub to Snapman, to Snapman underscore I underscore am. They have given oh, 1,306 so gift subs but, in you know, channel. I've been taking a break for the last like 30 minutes, hanging out, just chatting with people. I don't get to catch up a ton, so I'm trying to do that. Oh, I, I forgot to talk to day. Myth about oh. I need to talk with um, Marasu or whatever about getting ammo for this fucking thing, but I don't oh, really. Oh, we're getting I've been... entirely new weapons. We'll just give you a new one. I mean, I have that from that. It's kind of like, oh well, fair. But he, he put all that effort into maintaining. I mean, if you want to keep using it, we can we can get you some yeah, some ammo. But we've actually I mean, switched I, I, contracts. I, 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 so. Oh really? So we'll give. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're uh, we're going with uh, show. So we're gonna be using uh, really some some blue Ava weapons. But Avalon, yeah. wait a minute. But oh, Avalon, went, Avalon went with them too. Well, mm. this he here's the thing. Uh, good old Valkyrie decided not to show up to anyone's business at all for the last oh, like yeah, that's no Valkyrie. one seen them. Yeah, that's just... so what they've the really hell? been missing. Slackin'. I don't know what they've been up to, so they kind of missed out. Mm. It's their own fault. And I made a pretty actually good deal with real show. talk. We're, we're doing a little Shimitsu's business been training, killing you know, it with seven, getting security know, contracts in the upper it. city. I was trying to have her, uh, hire they've literally like like had like. Five Shimitsu, different so weapons like, demonstrations. I got to submit a resume to Avalon to submit to them, and then they hire the person, and then it's like, oh my god, oh, I'm yeah, out no, of they're not doing our security; they're just giving us guns. So gotcha. So Avalon's a little deeper down that rabbit hole then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they're they're like full Fair. outsourcing. I, I I still run everything myself. Because last year, if I remember the the I don't know, this saved my life a lot more than the Samitsu one. I'll tell you that. They have I the mean, cryo rounds both, and stuff. They're both efficient, so. Yeah. As long as uh, whatever you're comfortable with, we can find ammo for you if you need ammo, and that's not a big deal. Yeah, it's just, I was gonna, yeah I just that was the only thing I forgot when I went up there. Yeah, I'll, 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 next time I come down, I'll, I'll bring a Because everyone's bullets. always training, they're practicing. Yeah, it's firing, literally like, 180 of know, last season. Where bullets, my bull, yeah. my bullets, like, they were all over it, and then yeah. Joe too wasn't doing anything. Provide you with, like, a cheap gun, like a little, like, you know, you can get I haven't seen any Valkyrie employees other than Chandler's character. I think they exist. It might about that when you guys own the place because at the end of the day i have this weird theory where if you have a gun you have a higher chance of getting mm -hmm. shot because <laughs> yeah, the only times like, i've ever uh, been shot is when i had a gun on me <laughs> i thought the rule was they couldn't say. shoot this you is you're medical until you start shooting people then you get Dude, shot how, so you survived that spaceship too you were on it too right yes yes i did okay so this is what happened to me so uh -huh. someone from the undercity shot me in the back it didn't penetrate my armor, but it knocked me out. So I fell down, and the last uh -huh. thing I remember seeing is I looked up, and I'm like, is this the end? And there is an alien with its giant fucking claws looking down at me, and then it just shrugs and walks away, and I pass out. What the fuck? And I wake up, I wake up like 30 fuck? minutes later, and everything's over, and I'm like, what shit. the fuck? Yeah, so that's... <laughs> it, the only time I've ever been shot is by someone on my own side. Imagine going going to toe to toe with an alien animation. You get domed to the back of that shotgun cipher. Wait, did someone find the shotgun? <laughs> no, he's just chilling. So hey, new to ND, is there a plot line or is it a bunch of people telling their own stories? Um, there is overarching plot lines that go across the season, but, um, a lot of the story is player driven. So, like, a lot of the, like, factions, like, the big factions that are in control of the setting, like the mega corporations, a lot of these are actually factions that are, like, that have player characters in them, and then a lot of the story is, like, motivated by their actions. And what they choose to do, and then it has effects that sort of 
ripple down into the lower levels. Uh, but there are overarching DM storylines, which is what I'm here for. Gotcha, because at the end of the day, it's like, you know, you'd, you'd hope someone would remember that. <laughs> Make some good deals that way. Uh, oh, no, it's you, the hidey one. <laughs> the hidey one? Yeah, the hides behind people. Uh, uh huh. All the stores are closed, and Rachel is thirsty. Oh, There's well, good machine. news is over here. Oh, that one's turned off. I wonder if it's one of those, the light is off, but it still works. There's also a vending machine down there in the blue hangout area. Just put your credit yeah, card in there. It's like 100 credits. I get drinks there all the time. Rachel has no credits on her card currently. Okay, well, there's water over here, but it's dirty AF then. I don't know how to help you then. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, that, wait a minute. Okay, that guy will help you with money. <laughs> oh, hey Jimmy, it's a little late, but I uh, I want to take you to the grindstone tomorrow or next week. Someone wanted to meet you, but it's a little uh, late now. Uh, hey, are you okay? Or are you? Oh, I just got chased by a dragon. Wait, holy <laughs> shit! Is oh, how you doing? All right. Well, you, you good? You don't yeah. look all right. Do I need to take you I to the got chased by... I got chased yeah, by a dragon. <clears throat> oh, okay. I'm sorry, a, dra a dragon. Yes, yes. Like, a, like it flew a and breathed fire. Well, uh, no, he uh, he's purple. He's wearing purple. Oh, um, that, <laughs> I know. Yeah, dragon. Okay, Was I know. That, he's um, the, the big Masaro fellow. What's his, uh, fair enough. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't remember his name for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Why did they chase you? Yeah. Uh, something about yesterday. What did you do yesterday? His name, name starts with uh, a C, right? I'm, I always draw a blank. Yeah. Yeah. Cornelius. Cornelius. Yeah. Cornelius. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, he used to be a little pissed now he's massive. I, you seem very uh, unlucky. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, he says, I know. I, I, <laughs> have you ever tried ways of increasing your karma? I don't know. What do, what do you mean, increase my Did you get over the drug addiction? You can always donate yes. money to people and, like, donations, oh, charities. Oh, good job. And... I'm proud of you. When was the last, how long have you been uh, clean? Well, uh, pretty much since the last apocalypse. <laughs> that's got to narrow it down I guess a little that's, bit. Yeah, that's a way <laughs> to sober up. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Well, I'm proud of uh, you. You did it. That's that's great. Yeah. Are you sure you don't yeah. need help? You're, you don't look good at all. I. Mm. Oh, Maybe yes, we can take you to rough. go get a drink. I, I've really had a Non-alcoholic from a vending machine. Yeah, no, I'm. Well, Maybe okay. some water uh, to sober up. I've already Are had a drunk? few. I've already. No, I'm. I'm alright. He's just dehydrated, maybe. <laughs> yeah, mm. no. Uh, being the chased by drunk. a dragon and then by. Being chased by two spirits does that to you? Does sound it's like that. And dragons. The, the tail, it, 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 it keeps, keeps getting bigger. bigger. Yeah. It, it gets crazy. It's... Maybe. What was that? Yeah, it's like God? From not being hydrated. No, no, I just jumped. You, I and, just uh, dove you and the deity duke it out? No, I dove head first onto a boat. You know, like full on Sounds Superman. Sounds like action movie. Did stuff explode? Were you like jumped onto the boat as it like took off? I don't know. I was busy having a panic attack. <laughs> mm, oh, well, that's significantly less badass. Okay. But... Yeah, yeah. I, I'm like, the clinic told me about that. Uh, yeah. I. I'm just. Look, I think you should just check him out. Right? I feel. Like... Do you need you to go and check? I'm all right. All right now. You I think. is the least confident all right I think I've heard in my entire life. <laughs> and I lived on a plane with all women. All right, I lived on a plan with You just got chased women. by a dragon and, and two ghosts and dove onto a boat. Are you yeah. sure you haven't hurt yourself? I... Oh, I suppose I could... I, I I guess, but, like, it's... I don't know. I Honestly, I don't think there's anything we can do for him. Honestly, he just needs a... Yeah, 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 he's he's he beyond a brothel help, yeah. or something. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe get, some, get some water, get mm. some women, and get some sleep, and you'll be good. 
<laughs> I've already had the woman, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Oh, wow. What's next? What's okay. Next? When did that happen? They're trying, wow. to, they're trying to get your attention with their touch, their talk. Okay, head. right. Uh, sure. Why don't we go and get you a quick drink before you go to bed so you do not stay dehydrated as you sleep? Uh, or have I mean, uh, You need to stop yeah, playing the game. Dehydration is bad for your brain. Apparently. You're too old for that. What do you mean, nightmares? What do you. What? Nightmare. 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 Okay, hang on, Vice, I didn't even have to unmute, Vice did it for me, Vice did it for me, I don't know where he picked that up from unless he saw like the clip. Just <laughs> nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> Would you like to go and get some water? I mean, I've got water at home. Well, I've got tap water. Okay, maybe not tap water. I mean, there's a vending machine just there, so. Uh, and you'll see that there. vending machine? I don't know. Uh, this one. This one here. The light is uh, off, but want, it still do works. <laughs> do, do you want anything? Maybe some blue raspberry lemonade. Okay, alright. <laughs> nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Gaming. Anyone take my shotgun? Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Of course, of course. <laughs> hey, boys. <laughs> oh, I've got my fucking. I, I've I've infiltrated, dude. To my, uh, I've got people. I've got people to bully Jimothy for me. <laughs> I didn't even have to unmute. <laughs> I'm agents in every map. Mm. Uh, Jimothy. Yeah, I, I, I'm you. I'm the bank teller. So uh, I still can't get over the fact that his uh, name is Jimothy. Anyway, uh, give, give me a second. Uh, like, that's I still how good to my me. co-worker treated you, and, uh, I don't know, just still, either way, a uh, pleasure. Yeah. Like, uh, ugh, okay. Well, yeah, so, uh, oh, oh god, that's gonna be a whole mess. Poor Jimothy. Poor Jimothy. Ooh. Ibis. Mm, not worried about fighting with them. Alright. Still under their payroll. Sort of. Yo! Trap Man, thank you for the raid! I'm the only. Hope you have fun, man. Dude, D&D &D soon. It's coming back. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Depends on how fast I can prep. Best frog DM? Hell yeah. Thank you for letting Two me minute know. warning? I'm aware. I'm just, you know, letting them wrap it. up here. They got time. Yeah, there was something funny about you. Alwyn. Jack Shop. Come here. There's not a there's not a season that can pass without this ch this shop going to uh someone else's hands. First it was Jack Shop, now season two it was Duncan's shop, and now it's uh now it's uh BR sixteen's mm -hmm. shop. It's cursed. It must always be passed. They want with it, don't know what they want with me. That's the first thing. Yeah. Second thing, 
something Chris, happens to me. Him? What? If something happens what? to me at all, both of I want both of you to make sure that she's fine. Who took your blood? Masaru, the corporate leader, the CEO, Calliope. Why? What fucking right Great fucking have question. Me. Great fucking question. We'll figure that out in the morning. We'll figure this shit out in the morning. Just if something happens. If something happens, I play for you. Thanks. Got it. All right. Spread their ways. We go back to their apartments, and then we're session over. Everybody else is already there. Hey, Cypher, I just want to say that I'm glad I found you two years ago. It made my life so much better. Oh, Thank you. I just, you know, I just, I just do silly little RP things. I just tell my silly little stories. But I'm, I'm glad you enjoy it. Thank you so much, man. That's really touching. Alright. Bring him in. Dude, I hate this communication room because I saw the CD who's the head of Avalon and I'm like, here's all the things that I did. And like, okay, Attention, everybody. The down. session is now over. So, thank you guys for showing up this week. Good job. Good shit from everything. Th big thank you to the extras as per usual. Uh, you guys did great tonight. I know a lot of you guys pulled double duty. Uh, and yeah, good shit, guys. Uh, remember, any map bugs you saw, log them in the Discord, use the canny, uh, and see you guys next week. Bye, bye. You. Thank you. Bye, thank you for stopping by. Bye. Everyone. <laughs> She's so cute. Accurate. I knew it. Fuck, you're right. And now he's on the gun. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. You did it. No, no, no. Remember, if you want your items to persist, keep them in your pockets when you log out. Hey streamer, I'm being mushy. I was a massive lurker back in ye old days, and I'm really glad that I got to step out into chat. Mostly because I could bully you. May or may not do something, and if she does certain actions, um, that's going to automatically trigger um a uh, some a right, defense yeah. response, which means that if I, <laughs> if I get any sign that comes up, you see, um, I have an emergency. It's that I'm about to shank somebody. Because they know too Understood. much. If they, say, oh, if they say the wrong thing, if they yeah, say the wrong I thing, really? it will automatically trigger. I am. I know it's not my fault, but I'm so sorry that I had to roll. No, that the rolls were. I, I know, but like you're gonna fucking, you're gonna shake your wife. I don't want this. No, not her, Dude, not not wife. I was uh, up in Alice. the. Uh, I was I was oh, up Alice. in the okay. city. That's a little bit better, you, but still. Earlier. Like earlier in the session, oh. and I overheard the conversation between Calliope and Reynolds, where he was like, "Yeah, we give you permission to keep Maya's blood just on you, in case anything happens." Well, yeah, because uh, <laughs> they uh, had a talk <laughs> earlier at the start of the mm -hmm. session um, about uh, basically what led up to the whole thing that happened in there, which is why Marcelina said. Uh, Alice yeah. knows and is keeping that to herself for some reason. And uh, yeah, the way God they basically broke the it down is that look, they're like, "Here's what persona fixes are. They don't work. This is a liability." <laughs> yeah, this is a. Uh, wait, so uh, who knows a, about? Wait, what were they told? Uh, Alice. Alice knows outright. Um, I was oh, going to okay. say now Cor Cornelius. No, Cornelius and Lyle now know. 
why she's actually there because they just didn't they just thought that calliope was like uh oh, kind of fucking around she didn't tell anyone mm -hmm. until today it's like and then she demonstrated and she's just like i've been waiting yeah. for you <laughs> <laughs> i'm so oh. i can't it's believe be, i i was like finding out that marceline was finding out that marceline was oh no <laughs> Finding out the Marceline had experience with you, 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 me, huh? you, huh? Huh? fucker, you, fucker. <laughs> you. The fact that I now know what's in her fucking. The fact that I know what's in her fucking. The fact that I know what's in her fucking. Chance card. All right. It's time, chat. Short, short one this time. Short one this time. Short one this time because uh, it's Lawman's birthday, and I think we're gonna be hanging out in VR off stream. So short one this time. You never see it oh my God, Mecha Morshu! Thank you for gifting 20 subs. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the, uh, obsession talk. <laughs> Phoenix, thank you for the tier one. Do the thing. I'm not gonna do the thing. You just got 20 subs. Fine, I'll do the thing. I'll do the thing only because I know if I don't do the thing, you won't stop bugging me about it. Thank you for watching another ne episode of Neon Divide. If you like what you saw, please consider following the stream. If you really like what you saw, please consider subscribing. I'm live I six days a week, and I really try to put my best stuff forward. Thank you for the hundred bits, Zybul. That's the thing. That's the thing. <laughs> the <laughs> chat has to fucking pressure me into plugging my own shit because I just hate. I hate it. I hate marketing myself. You never see it come Thank you, Black Al Alchemist, for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. I wasn't paying attention. Do it again. No. No, I won't do it again. You can rewind. Like a tradition in this world. Oh man, what a jam packed session. Holy shit. So much stuff happened. And that's not even counting like the shit that happened in the wasteland that I know happened in the wasteland today, but I couldn't even see. Like so much shit happened. Like, there was a whole thing where, like, V and BR-16 and a couple other people went to, like, a synth graveyard in the wasteland. I have to go catch the VOD of that. Reunion started making big moves. Trident kept making big moves. Masaru is making big moves. Shometsu actually showed the fuck up and started making big moves, too. Because they did not make very many big moves season 2, but they are making huge moves season 3 so far. Ricky making Ricky times. Valkyrie basically didn't exist today. Well, I think that's because Chandler was uh, on hotel Wi-Fi and couldn't really get into the world. Elomin, thank you for the Prime Gaming. Welcome. That's a new sub, not a gifted. 
I always take special time to call out the people who, like, decide that I'm worth it when, without being gifted. So thank you, Elemen. Thank you so much. Oh man, what a session. What a session. Ugh. Oh. Oh, I'm exhausted. It was really good. I feel like that session went really well. I hope people liked it. Oh my god, there's 300 of you here. I did do the thing. I did. No, I'm not going to plug some more. Okay, well, all right, fine. Here's the thing. All right, chat. I'm starting up two D&D &D campaigns soon. Two. We just finished a recent, a recent campaign that has Shinikami, Oblivious, Tosha, Gigabits, and Vice in it. We just finished a campaign with that fucking star-studded cast. And they're getting a season two, as well as a new campaign starting up in my D&D &D world. Also, uh, I'll plug this, even though it doesn't, none of it goes to me. Neon Divide has merch now. Uh, Neon Divide has merch now. You can go to store.neondivide.com. We had our first merch drop. Um, and you could go there. Uh, all of those proceeds go to the developers as well as the artists. Uh, you know. Because currently the most, most of the Neon Divide staff, myself included, is volunteers. So, all of the profits from that go to map development, essentially. And a, uh, a royalty fee goes to the artists. Mechamershi, thank you for gifting that sub to Wolf, Wolf underscore Crow. Crow just subscribed. Mechamershi gifted a tier 1 sub to Wolf underscore Crow. They have given 1,327 gift subs in the channel. Alright. Yeah. Uh, I can tell you one person who's going to be in the second campaign. I can tell you one person. Who you, most of you probably already know. But the second campaign is going to have Lele in it. Who you know as Ahi from Neon Divide. Dolmancer, oh, thank you for the host. I'm about to end. Oh, I'm so tired. What a jam-packed session. Things are getting up in full swing. Here's the thing. When we were doing last season, there were people who fucking, like, all week just, like, eat, sleep, and breathe this RP. So, like, they have four hours on every Friday to make shit happen, and they've been thinking about what to do all week. So that's what they're going to do. Anyway, I'm going to end stream. Chat, thank you guys for coming out tonight. Uh, That's the wrong screen. There we go. Tomorrow, I'll be live at 4 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be continuing Terraria Calamity mod with Brett Ultimus and Tom Fox. So, uh, feel free to hop in for that. And uh, then Sunday is my day off as per usual, because that's when we have I have all my meetings. Uh, all right. 
Good night, chat room. Gonna find you guys want to stick around for that? I will drop you guys off some. Uh, I am going to raid Andera, who is the upper city DM for Neon Divide. He has been doing excellent work. Sure that because I'm not doing post session, or he probably.